remember the plug hit me up at that. He's like, that shit was fire. I'm like, man, fuck you, dude. I overdosed, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I almost died, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get three more, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's do that. I bet. <clears throat> get it. Uh. Damn. A. 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 B. C. D. Uh. Add a pussy from the back. Oh, uh. shit. She left the caca stain on my forehead. But <laughs> yeah. well, that's okay. Uh-huh. I'ma say that shit for later. Uh-huh. Hey. Uh-huh. Hey. <laughs> Wipe it on your forehead, bitch. Ooh. Hey. Simba, Simba. <laughs> Simba. Uh-huh. And got a guest all the way from Chicago. Shy Rack. <laughs> oh shit. And he's back. Oh, huh? Hey. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, we're getting back. <laughs> oh, you want to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. My go. turn, okay. Uh-huh. I'm in here with these homies in the garage kicking it. Started a podcast. It's called Ponte Las Pilas. My hey. homie, Johnny, he big as fuck. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm uh-huh. big as fuck, too. You know what it is. I'm funny ass fool. Uh-huh. Came to LA. I started doing shows. Uh-huh. Looking for the hoes. I'm trying to fuck a fat bitch. Uh-huh. Maybe a Tota. Maybe a Hora. Maybe. <laughs> I'm skinny bitch with no titties. I don't give a fuck what it is. I'm still going to hit it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But let me get started. I'll hey, fuck around and rap. Hey, go ahead, Johnny. Go ahead. Follow it up. Nah, I'm not the only one. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm about to be done. Oh. Hey. Just kidding. Still going. Oh. Welcome to Cali. Oh. Thank you. Right. Okay. Thank oh. you, brother. I'm happy to be here, man. You look like a fat ass Jeffrey Dahmer. I don't know how the fuck. <laughs> That happened. I'm good. Damn. This motherfucker right here got a goofy haircut. I don't oh. know what the fuck he did. <laughs> it's not even rhyming no more. Uh, Barcelona sucks. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Damn. Messi not the goat. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> wrap it up, wrap it up. Nah, all right. What's cool? I'm just kidding. My bad, my bad. That, that was, was fire, bro. That Jesus. Was nah, brother, really, come on. Bro. And we live, motherfuckers. Ooh, ooh. It's your boy, Lalo. It's your boy, I N F I N I T E D R E from the M to the motherfucking Z. <laughs> This shit was better than your freestyle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Johnny, what's up? It's the only line I got that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. It's your boy Gazelle. We got another motherfucking special guest for y'all today. Coming all the way from Chicago, motherfucking Ooh. Illinois. Just finished selling fucking, what, four LA shows right now? He's making Illinois yeah, yeah. We right got now. our boy Ken Flores, too skinny, baby. What's going on, man? Thank you guys for having me, bro. What's up, my boy? How'd the shows go? Shit, it went crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I got here Friday, mm-hmm. and we were supposed to kick it just Friday, but the Sunday show uh, got moved to Friday because they double booked at the club. Okay. And uh, so I kind of had to like fly in. We got the car, we got the hotel, and then it was just get ready and go to the show. So when I got there, it was kind of like hard for me to take everything in, you know? I was like, yeah, fuck, yeah, yeah. you know? And, you know, just show up to the venue, you see your name and lights, like, God damn, that shit really happening, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, You're living your dream. Like, across yeah. the country type shit, you know? And, uh, yeah, man, like, it, it, I ain't gonna lie, like, I I still murdered the first show. Like, I did what I do, because I'm, like, you know, I'm supposed to be professional, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I was still, like, I feel like I didn't tap in to, like, my like my full form, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and yesterday, Saturday, we, th- we did three shows. And I started drinking early, so I was buzzed. So when I went up there, bro, I started, I fucking murdered, bro. I went, yeah, bro. Right. I, 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 started freestyling it. Bro, I killed, I, I, did, I was freestyling my set, you know, I was, I killed, bro, like two shows. The last show, um, I was tired, bro, you know, because you're doing 40 minutes of show. I was tired already, and like, yeah. my voice was kind of giving out, but we were so drunk, like, I just started having fun, bro. <laughs> and it got to a point, like, I just sat down on the stool. I don't never sit down, like, on the stool. Like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. always do my comedy standing up. But <laughs> I sat down and started talking to people, and they fucking loved it, bro. Like, giving me applause breaks and shit in between stories. And it was just, like, I, I, I felt the love, you know. I felt That's at dumb, home, man. you know. Yeah. And they felt it, too. And, um... Yeah, man, we wrapped it up. Like I didn't. I was. I was. I was like, yeah, we're gonna go party. We're gonna stay out all night, bro. I didn't do none of that shit. <laughs> no hoes, nothing. No, no yeah. hoes, nothing. Yeah. Bro, I went home with a, a, a box of mini tacos from Jack in the Box, bro. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like a good yeah. night, bro. Yeah. He's all disappointed. Like we had tickets to Disneyland. Yeah. Boy, I didn't fucking get to go. Hey, bro, you want some funny <laughs> shit, bro? I, they, I was gonna send you off. <laughs> Renee kept bugging. He's like, bro, let's just go to Disneyland. Fuck yeah. you. He's like, fuck them, bro. <laughs> I was, He's like, on Space Mountain by himself. I was like, you ain't wrong, bro, but nah, but I was like, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, nah, bro, I, you know, I competed and I'm, you know, I'm professional. So That's like, sick, bro. bro. And we uh, see he lagged. We see his story. He's at Space Mountain. <laughs> nah, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, 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 so like, why is he like this? <laughs> <laughs> He's dapping he up, goof- he dapping nah. up goofy and shit. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> like, I would have gone, bro, but I don't fit in the rides. Like, there's no fucking point. You know? bullshit. Like, the fuck I'm going to walk around and take pictures with Minnie Mouse, bitch? Hell no. That's hard. Hell yeah, no. Nah, fuck that. And then you got to walk everything. That's <laughs> <laughs> bro. bro. Not me. I was going to grab one of those scooters from Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> you know? A hoverboard or something. <laughs> hell no. Fuck. I went, dude, I know I can't do Disneyland because I went to the mall on Friday and I was dying, bro. <laughs> That mother, I went over in Dave Ocker, and that motherfucker walked fast as shit, bro. He was looking for a shirt. I'm behind him. I'm, like, I'm going to catch up, man. Fuck that shirt, bro. We ended up finding it in the store where we walked in from. I was like, bro, we walked around the whole fucking mall. It was right here the whole yeah. fucking time, bro. He was just looking out for you. He Bruh. gave you steps in. <laughs> He's like, brother, I this is for you. The more than it is for me. My Fitbit going off right now. Bro. Oh, bro. Hey, is he got right, that trainer's armpit the whole time. <laughs> He's like, right. bro, we got, I got to find this shit. Bro, I was Ooh. checking my temperature after this shit. I was like, hell no. Like, hey, bro, I want to come clean. I didn't come for no shirt. Bro, I just want to fucking help you. Bro, bro. Yeah, like that hell shit. nah. Let me die. <laughs> <laughs> that shit reminds me fucking earlier, too. Uh, uh, Johnny asked uh, Lalo for a fucking flannel. Yeah, and it was what'd cold. You, what'd you do, Johnny? You're and like, I went up, and he's like, no, nah, it's not that one. And I had to go back up. No, nah, it's not that one. Nah, I'm a face on this one. Uh, you trying to run, have me run no stairs or what? Nah, I'm putting the first Fuck one no. that I come down with on, bro. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'll make you go get that shit, bro. Like, yeah. you know, bring me one flannel, bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Flannel right now? Hey, go Damn. get it. I'll tell you which one it is. Nah, 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 nah he's going to play with you. Nah. I'll bring your whole fucking wardrobe before I go twice. Bring the whole rack? Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. I know you grew up in Chicago. How? What was that like growing up there? I grew up, you know, I I, I lived in Chicago up till I was like in sixth grade, like in the city, you know? Mm. And then I moved on the outskirts, which is like the suburbs, I guess, whatever you want to call it, uh, from like sixth grade all the way through like, I mean, now. I moved back for a little bit after high school, but I went broke right away. I went, I went back to my parents' house and shit. <laughs> but, um, but like, like right, now, I've, right now, I'm working on like trying to move either. Like we got our, me and my video guy, we got our own spot. You know, we live together, so it's cool because mm. we put out hella content. You know, we were always on, like in sync and shit. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but it's just like um, we want to make the move. And the move was originally planned to be for Chicago, like in the inner city. But now it's like, bro, again, I mean, like this whole, for like for the past, for the next three months, like every weekend, I'm not going to be home. I'm going to be all over the country yeah, and shit. So it's like, high. at this point, it's like, do I want to move to Chicago? Do I want to stay where I'm at? Or do I want to move to LA? I got some. I got like a lot of comics that are telling me like, bro, move out here. Like, if you need help, like, yeah, yeah. you crash at our spot, whatever. Yeah. You know, they believe in the homie and shit. So it's like, fuck, I, I kind of want to do that too. But it's just like, I don't know, bro. I feel like you don't even need to move out here no more to make nah, it. Like, nah. you really don't. You, a lot of people are moving clips. out too. That's like an old but, school yeah. mindset and shit. Like, you need to move out to a lot of those foods. <laughs> yeah. It's because they did it and they want you to do it too. Yeah, like, you no can do it anyway. There's no reason to struggle. You feel me? No more. <laughs> like out here. So I'm just like, but anyway, as far as like what it was like to grow up out there, bro. Like. I mean, the first half of my life was pretty, like, uh, I mean, I was just a wild-ass mo- was I've always been, like, I mean, just y'all see me come in here just talking shit. Like, that's, yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. I've been like that my whole life, bro. Yeah. Um, just around the people I was I, I grew up in, like, a lot of Puerto Ricans. The neighborhood I was in was Puerto Ricans. And all they do is talk shit, bro. So that's kind of <laughs> how I got good at that shit. Yeah. And then um, when I moved the... Uh, when I moved from uh, Chicago to like a different school, when I moved on the outskirts, um, shout out Aurora, by the way, I didn't mean to say the outskirts, but, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's my hometown, I'm proud of there, yeah, you know, yeah, but yeah. it's just like, so you tell a motherfucker from across the country, they I don't know, know what yeah, the fuck yeah. you're talking about, you know, right, but anyway, right, right. I moved out there and um, I mean, it was the same shit, you know, it was like hella Latinos and all that, but you know, when you, when you, you're the new kid, you gotta like, um, you gotta have something about you, you know, yeah, like to yeah. stand you gotta out. Prove some shit. And yeah, and I was just kind of like, I didn't want nobody because if you're a fat motherfucker, motherfucker like to pick on you. I was like, I'm not gonna nobody pick on me. You <laughs> feel me? Like, so like on the first day of school, I got into a fight and shit, bro. <clears throat> nice. Fucking white boy tried to talk shit. I was like, man, fuck you, dude. <laughs> and we, just, we, we got into it, bro. And um, from there, like it was just like I was just me, you know. And like I was always kind of like, just I mean, I, I never like as far as like growing up, like with my friends and shit, I was never like. Uh, like, I was never doing stupid, dumb shit, you know? All my homies were, like, into yeah. that shit, so, like... Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, like, I've been around everything, you feel me? But I was, like... I knew that I had a different purpose. I was, like, I want to do something, you yeah, feel me? Bro. I was, like, yeah. fuck it. And now it's, like, this shit's working out. But, I mean, growing up in Chicago's fun, man. It's not... I mean, you could get into whatever, you feel me? It's like, cold as fuck out there, too, Cold right? as fuck, yeah, bro. Heard, yeah. Cold as fuck out here, too, this yeah. weekend. Nah, this cold. is the no, coldest no, no, ever You went on a bad weekend, yeah. 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 That's this yeah. is cold as it's ever been out here. It's like, yeah. it doesn't get cold out here. It's always fucking sunny and... Yeah. Uh, like, bro, you it is always like, windy out here, though. It's usually yeah. like 90 degrees out here. Yeah. 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 Fuck, thank God. Not, that shit gets hot as <laughs> fuck out here. It's hot, bro. Fuck, that man. starts sticking to the seat. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, what did your click look like uh, in high school and shit? My click? Yeah. Oh, shit. That one, the fool right here? He's still right here. Is your boys right here? Yeah, my boy right here. Shout out yeah, to your yeah. homies right That's here. I met... Uh, you brought yeah. your day
when I was in like 15, 16, bro, I had, I was doing YouTube. And like some of my shit went viral like early, you know? Yeah. So I kinda already like everybody at school already knew me. They're like, oh, that's some yeah. funny motherfucker, whatever, you know? And then obviously I fell off YouTube. I started drinking, partying, you know, just fucking doing all kinds of drugs in the garage and oh, shit. shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's like us right now. Yeah. 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 Nice whole studio. Yeah. <laughs> it's past the people right now. My bad, my bad. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but um yeah, like um my my homies was like, you know, I hung out with like I hung out with motherfuckers that had like 100 pounds in the fucking living room, you know, just trapping all day. <laughs> hung out with motherfuckers that was like sniffing, you know, hella, Hell yeah. hella cocaine all day, just drug addicts. And I grew up with people that were fucking nerds and <laughs> people that fucking, you know, went to college and are fucking, you know, either... Whatever you know, whatever they do, what they, <laughs> they wear suits. Doctors to work, and shit, yeah. You know? Primarily, I, I ain't gonna lie, I won't cool with no doctors. A few nurses and shit, but <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not uh, nurses for uh, CNAs. Uh, yeah, yeah, they, like, they, <laughs> ass wipers. <Yeah>. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to the CNAs. Yeah. <laughs> but, but how'd you break out? And, like, how did you decide to be like pursue comedy? Like, you're gonna be on stand up, yeah. like on the stage and shit. So like, when I, when I, like when um when I, when I started doing the YouTube shit around that time there was this real dude this, real, this dude real big from Chicago his name was Sergio Rasta I don't know if yeah. you ever heard of him uh, hell yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Like, well, he, he passed away he passed was that a rumor away. yeah I heard he passed away I don't yeah. think it's like confirmed or anything Western but yeah Pizza. that's what I hear but uh, like he was real popping you know it was like those videos were, like Mexican moms be like you know just yeah, shit like yeah, that yeah, you know yeah. Yeah. and I started doing my shit too and um. And, like, I, I kind of always knew I wanted to make people laugh. You know, I kind of got a taste of, like, people. I mean, you guys know what it is now with, like, people leaving comments. You know, yeah. you got people across the yeah, country that, that oh, we fuck what you got going on, whatever. Yeah. So I'm fucking 15, 6, like, my ego through the roof. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'm good. <laughs> and, uh... And then, uh, you know, eventually once you fall off and shit, like, people are like, oh, you that dude from that one video, right, with that, with that shit? And uh, I was like, bro, I don't want to be one of those motherfuckers that was like, uh, you know. Living in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. living in the past. Like, I want people to forget that shit, you know. I was like, fuck that shit. So I was like, well, I need to do something. Like, I need to, I was, I was like, I need to get back into YouTube, you know. At first I was like, I'm going to do skits again. But then I was like, you know, that's not who I am. Like, one of, one of the biggest things I want to do is be genuine with who I am. Yeah. Not, like, have to fake it. Like, I don't want to have to clock in, like, put on a fucking mask or put on a facade just to do like, you know, because that's also yeah. a lot of these content creators yeah, are. They're like, sure, sure. what's up, guy? And then the camera go off and they're a different person. I'm like, nah, I want people to like me for who I am because I don't want no ever no video to leak of me and they're like, oh shit, like the real him. Like, nah, bitch, I'm a piece of, <laughs> I'm a piece of shit. Him. I'm letting you know right now. <laughs> on and off cam. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah. so I was like, well, what, how, do, how can I be my genuine self, make people laugh? And create content. And I, I was like, I don't, I, can't, I don't think I can do it with YouTube. And then stand-up comedy seemed, uh, I started watching it on Netflix, you know. I started watching, like, you know, my favorites, you know, like Cat Williams, you know, yeah, old, yeah. Old, old old stuff, you know. And then, of course, Fluffy kind of started blowing up crazy, you know. And I was just like, yeah. damn, he a fat Mexican. Like, he did he doing it. <laughs> yeah. Like, he doing it. I could do yeah. it, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I was like, fuck. And then um, I started watching random Netflix specials on uh on you know on Netflix and I would just click on people that I didn't know and I was like I want to see maybe they're funny mm -hmm. and I watched like hell of them and that shit was like whack yeah, 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 that right. shit is whack bro you're so like, I could do that shit yeah, yeah bro yeah. like it's just that ego be like you yeah, could, yeah. You, you're better than that you know so mm -hmm. then obviously you <clears throat> learn that it's not as easy as you think yeah, it is right yeah, no, 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 but no. but just like getting up and doing it like I I was working at a bank bro I was working I was a teller at a bank bro mm -hmm. and uh, the, there's this club owner that banked with us and every time he would come in I'll make him laugh. And uh, he was like, man, you need to come do the open mic. You need to come do the open mic. And I was like, all right, maybe like maybe one day. And one day I went, bro, and I, I just watched. Yeah. And I was like, these fools <laughs> suck, bro. <laughs> I was like, all these motherfuckers are yeah. trash. I was like, yeah, I could yeah. definitely do this shit. Yeah. Yeah. I went back home. I wrote I wrote hella jokes, bro. I remember right before I did my first open mic, we had came out. We was in LA, bro, and I had like a notebook already full of jokes. But like I was just telling them, like, what do you guys think this is funny? This is funny? And they were like, I mean, yeah, yeah, whatever. You know, but like. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. You never know. Like, comedy yeah, yeah, sure. you, you don't know until you try it, you know? This shit might be funny to you or your boys, but you go on stage and you say it out loud, and there's a full room and nobody laughs. You're like, oh, shit, not funny, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> and I think a lot of, like, stand-up comedy in general is like, it's, it's a, it has a lot to do with your demeanor, too. Like, yeah. I can say what you say word for word and mm -hmm. might not get a fucking laugh, but you're yeah. up there and you say it your, your way, yeah, like, your yeah. persona, and yeah. then that shit will crush your room and shit. Yourself. Yeah, man, definitely delivery. I mean, just even like yeah. looks, everything, bro, everything. Timing. Like, there's stuff that I try to do when I say a certain joke, like mm -hmm. I'll make a certain facial expression, whereas like maybe the words didn't get a laugh, but the way I responded to yeah, them, yeah, yeah. they're like, oh, that shit's fucking hilarious, you know? So, yeah, man, I just kind of, after after I did it, my first time, I crushed for it being my first time, bro. Like, 
it went well. And people were like, you co comedians have been doing it for a while. They're like, hey, bro, you're funny, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. And I only did like two open mics before I got booked for my first fucking show. People are like, it's, it's going to take, take like a year for you to do yeah, open yeah, yeah. mics, get good. Bro, I booked the show on my first fucking like open mic, bro. Damn, so man. shit kind of started rolling for me fast, bro. Like, uh -huh. I came in the game fast. Mm -hmm. You know, I was, uh, you know, COVID hit and shit. So we slowed down from like doing open mics and doing showcases. And then when COVID started going away, I was, uh, I kind of went back in and I just kind of didn't fucking, like, didn't fucking let up, bro. And everything has been snowball effect Fuck from yeah. shows in Chicago. And mm -hmm. then once we started putting out clips, that shit started going crazy. And we, like, last year we started doing road gigs for the first time. Like, I did Phoenix, I did DC, like, one offs. And then this right now, the, the like, the tour is kind of like, damn, all right, now it's like, for real, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, and, and I mean, shit, just to be able to come and, like, crud because then like motherfuckers in chicago will tell you like oh well now you're gonna find out if you're funny you know some outside of chicago <laughs> yeah. i'm out here murdering bro like, <laughs> not you know, you're not funny yeah. you're not even funny in chicago bro. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get so, your game up up there yeah, so yeah. it's like it's like you know it's just been a whole it's, it's, it's a big road of proving people wrong and the thing about like OG, there was some i'm not gonna drop no names but there's some og comedians at the club on friday yeah. And people that I'm fans of that I follow, you know, people that I've DM'd mm. before, you know, yeah. Yeah. and like a lot of them don't like clip comics is what they call us, yeah, you know, because yeah, yeah, they're like all these guys are just what cut the fuck up. is like comic racism, really? Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> hell, it's, it's, it's a lot of jealousy, you know, yeah, like people yeah, yeah. are like, damn, I'm funnier than him. I, should, I deserve that. Or I deserve that, you know. Yeah. And um, you know what it is too, though. A lot of those OG comics don't have that fucking following on social media. Yeah, like, they're they just funny in the clubs or or. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're seen and shit, but on social media they don't really have a presence. Yeah. So they they get hella jealous. So like young foods coming up mm -hmm. who got yeah. fucking hundred K, five hundred K, like their social media are blowing up. Who know how up. to run their social media? Yeah, because they yeah. kudos to y'all. Yeah, yeah, shout out to, yeah, yeah. Shout out to them. Not yeah. for sure. And I I've seen that shit too when like the old heads start talking shit about yeah. The, Cause then again, there are those fools, those clip comics that are yeah, ass. Yeah, bro. yeah, nah, for real, one hundred percent. It'll be, you know, but like my goal is not my goal. Is, I don't defend nobody else. There is clip comics that suck ass. Yeah, but like with me, it's like I'm yeah. I'm just here to prove to you that I can murder front to back. Like fuck a clip. Like yeah, you know, yeah. when you're sitting at, at my show, I'm gonna fucking murder. You're gonna laugh your ass off, like real laugh. Cause there's comics that are just happy with chuckles. Yeah, yeah. if I get and chuckles, I bro, that. I won't sleep that night. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that That's shit. Like what? Well, I need people to <laughs> fall out their fucking like. Like my, one of my favorite moments is when I'm standing looking at people and they're just like you can hear like women who are louder they're like just like catching yeah. their breath and laughing bro like, like that shit feel better than fucking a bitch like that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I don't do a lot of that anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, that shit's coming though. But that, but that's how we found you though through Clips, bro. We, yeah, we, we found you a while back. You know, I, I don't know, I don't even know if you know when. I, I don't know if the team knows. It was that. a minute because we had, we had chopped it up for a minute, bro. Yeah. Like um yeah. uh I mean I used y'all used to I mean I'm it's, I mean this old. Always on my FYP, I'm like, these who the fuck are these motherfuckers, bro? Right, they're not even funny. Yeah, yeah. no, 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 but like, <laughs> oh, like I'm better than them. Because, yeah. well, I mean, you guys are podcasting, but it's like sometimes you, you like scroll through shit and it's just like, you you forget right away what you watch, you know? Uh -huh. So, yeah. You, and then the, the fact that you guys consistently push shit up, you know, because it's like, some people do like the one off. They get one viral video and they're like, oh, yeah, like, I mean, nah, it's yeah, the consistency, yeah. the longevity, yeah. and then to be able to build. That, that following, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's why, like, I was nervous with, like, the whole on the road shit. Cause I was like, I don't know. Like, to me, TikTok is like a fuck. Like, I don't count those followers as, like, Mm. Nah, that like shit, a, that shit made them almost, yeah. yeah. I was like, that shit doesn't even count because you can put out a clip that's going to get 300 views. Like, what the fuck's the point of having 100,000 followers yeah. if they won't even do you the favor of at least pushing it to 5,000 people or it's something? It's because TikTok is driven by the fucking For You page. Like, yeah. Yeah. nobody's really looking on the following page. Right, right, but it, right. But it still feels cool. Like, motherfuckers think you're funny and they're like, all right, follow. Yeah, 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 yeah of course, all, of course. And, and, you know, there's people that do want to keep up with it and do keep up with it, you know, when they follow or whatever. But to me, that shit is like whatever, you know. And with Instagram, to me, is a little bit more like solid. Like, yeah. I fuck with Instagram yeah, yeah. and the fact that I could build a following there I was like alright this is more solid because then you post stories people watch them you know yeah. and uh, this was my first time of like going like doing this whole tour <laughs> shit and I was like I don't know if um, I don't know if I'm going to sell tickets you know I don't know if people like me for real or they don't and that's when I started doing the lives and shit like tapping uh -huh. in with the people yeah. and then people almost became like a like a, I mean, I don't want to say a cult, you know, but like, yeah, it, was, yeah, yeah. it was like, like, like they fuck with me, like motherfuckers yeah, fuck with me, yeah, you know? and, and and I'm like real responsive, like 
I'm like I don't know. You could say some people say, "Oh, don't respond to fans." Like you gotta separate. I don't give a fuck. No, bro. that shit's stupid. Yeah, Motherfuckers yeah, be sending me pictures of their girl, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they they this dude <laughs> DM me like a picture of like a, a nude of his girl. Yeah. He's like, That's my girl, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what you, what you what smash? Oh, like, what the <laughs> fuck? I'm all proud and shit, right? Yeah. And, I was like, oh. and I didn't even notice. I was like, snap, bro. Yeah. I was like, this motherfucker lying. I went on his page. That was his girl. Oh shit. Homie, and, homeboy's uh, a cuck. Right. He didn't even know. Yeah. She looked different in the Olive Garden picture, dog. <laughs> <laughs> but, she got but some like, big ass areolas, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Some hairy pan- nipples. Pan- pancake nipples. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dog. Hey, yeah. we don't discriminate, baby. We don't discriminate. Yeah. Hell nah. All of them getting fucked. Nah, that shit's dope. But, but yeah, but the, we found you on TikTok, bro. And I was like, bro, you... Especially like us. We're all fucking fans of like stand-up comics. And yeah. I appreciate the... We all appreciate the art craft. And the minute, bro, I saw it, I forget what fucking clip it was. I wish I remembered exactly mm-hmm. what it was. Um, but that shit was fucking hilarious. Mm-hmm. I was like, nah, this guy. Because yeah. you know, like you're saying, you know those fucking clip comics mm-hmm. that are ass, bro. You can see the And difference. like, maybe they'll have one clip that blows up and then you start yeah. checking out their other shit. And if it's not consistent, you're like, ah, oh, these fools are whack. Yeah. Your shit was like, all right, found one that hit and the next one hit. And then like, everything yeah. was fucking yeah. hilarious. And I was like, nah, this guy. <clears throat> I was yeah. like, this guy's coming up. And I know, I know you're going to make it big for sure. Because that... You, there, there's a lot of uh, a lot of people are trying to do the same shit that you do, you know, and very few come like are just consistently hilarious. Yeah, and I think I think that's why you you were nervous and shit, but that's why all your fucking shows were showed up. So that and we fucked up because we we were I, we were trying to get tickets to your shit and the, we could only do the weekend. And I was like, bro, those just been sold out for like three fucking weeks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, God damn, what did that feel like to uh? I mean, to felt, see all the sold out. It felt uh, shows. crazy, you know, and and like. Like it was like um like to me I always felt like like Renee's like a big brother to me you know like I respect him and I love him and uh and I mean when we when me and him linked up he was coming to Chicago and I hit him up like as a fan like I had like three thousand followers on Instagram yeah my shit was kind of popping off on TikTok I was probably like at thirty eight k or something but I had had no followers on Instagram and I DM'd him he had like seventeen k followers on Instagram at that point I was like bro I'm a fan that's when all his like Indian shit was going viral yeah mm-hmm. I was like bro I'm a fan of you I know you're coming to Chicago you know coming to Laugh Factory which is like my home club I was like, I was wondering if you you know give me a spot you know and I sent him some of my clips and shit so he could check them out I don't know if he watched them or not but. He's like, damn, bro. Like, he's like, for sure, I fuck with you. And we had a common friend, um, one uh, Manny Tololoche. I'm not sure if you guys ever heard. Yeah, of him. Manny yeah, Tololoche. Yeah. yeah. So, so I had already flown out to LA to do a podcast with him, like a year or two ago, like during COVID, right before COVID. So, um, so me, so so I was like, I know Manny. I know you know Manny. He's like, oh yeah, it's my boy, whatever. Woo. So I kind of like brought us a little bit closer, and then, but nobody confirmed that I could do a show with him, you know. And then I got off of work that day, and I get a text message from the club manager. He's like, hey, we're going to give you five minutes. Um, come come through, like, ASAP. I was like, all right, fuck it. So we dropped everything. We fucking raced to the club. And those five minutes, bro, I fucking lit that bitch up. And it was like 30 <clears throat> people, 40 people in the club. It wasn't even full, not even halfway full, bro. But we rocked out after the show. I took him out. We, we went out to drink. You know, we partied. Yeah. Like, all that. We, we stayed out all night, bro. And then uh, that was it. He went. He left, you know. And he didn't even follow me back, nothing, you know. So like, we kind of lost communication for the, for a bit. But I always still showed love because I was still I'm still a fan, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I would always comment on his clips, and he's you know. Then the leg came about. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Started blowing yeah, that shit was blowing up. So he started right blowing up crazy, and uh, you know. And then that's when I started putting shit out too. So like I'm kind of trailing right behind him, and yeah. then uh, and then he announced that he was coming back to Chicago to the same venue. And right, right when he, announced, he had, at that time he followed me. He's like, bro, I see you rocking now. He's like, that's yeah. crazy. I was like, bro, you kind of like paved the, the way in a, in a bit, you know, in mm-hmm. a way, you know. And uh, he's like, yeah, babe. He's like, I'm gonna be in Chicago November 12th. This past a few months ago, he's like, I want you to, I want you to open up for me. I was like, hell yeah, let's do it, bro. And yeah, we both started promoting. That shit sold out like a month before the fucking show, bro. Uh, and um, the day of the show, he ends up telling me, bro, my host dropped out. Do you think that you could host? Mm-hmm. And I was kind of bummed out because I was like, fuck, I don't want to host. The, yeah, yeah. You got to go up first. You, <clears throat> you, you got to get the crowd warmed up. And then Motherfuckers just, are ordering you, drinks and shit. Yeah. Right, yeah. and you're just introducing comics. But like, my comedy is like, eh. like my com- I don't do comedy where there's like points of silence in the room. My shit is like a hit, hit, hit. You know, because mm-hmm. I'll write a joke and it'll have five punchlines. So if you miss one, you laugh at everything else. You feel me? So like, mm-hmm. yeah. there's almost no losing in a way, you know? Yeah. And uh, man, I went up that fucking murder, bro. <laughs> and uh, and I bring up the first comic, then I bring up the second comic, and then the second comic flew in with Renee. He's a worker of the Haha Comedy Club mm-hmm. and he's an Italian guy. 
Oh, and when he got off stage, that's when I did this riff, and I was like, man, I feel like Italians are just gay Mexicans. Yeah, I see that <laughs> shit. That shit, <laughs> that shit went crazy on that TikTok. That shit went yeah. stupid yeah. on TikTok. On Instagram, too, it got like over a, over a million views. And uh, that was just a riff, you know? Yeah. And it's just like, uh, from there, uh, I brought him up. But it was like, every time I was going on stage, like, people in the crowd were like, like, they wanted me to stay on stage, you feel me? Like, it was like, they loved me, and I felt like that was dope. And then Renee, you know, he was fucking blown away, and... We ended up, he ended up, he's like, dude, fuck yeah. We yeah. drank that night. Uh, he took us out to eat. I was with, with my guy. I was with my sister, bro. We went out to eat. We chopped it up. I, I was buying him shots. And he was like, bro, I fuck with you. Like, we just had like a genuine ass conversation. And he's like, what are you doing tomorrow? I was like, shit. And he's like, let's go to Detroit. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was like, fuck it, let's ride. I called off work, bro. And we fucking drove, like we picked him up. We drove up to Detroit, about six hour drive. We did that show, bro. And then we kicked that all weekend up in Detroit. Then uh, when we were we were at a beat ups, I remember we were at a beat ups, and me and him were just like we were day drinking and shit. He's like, bro, I fuck with you. He's like, you need to come out to LA, bro. You're gonna blow up, woo -woo. and you know, motherfuckers just blow smoke up your ass. So I was like, yeah, yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> and uh, and then and then he's like, fuck that shit. He's like, you and me are gonna co-headline shows at Ha Ha Comedy. That's Club. crazy. Well, he made the phone call right there, bro. We were at beat ups, and he made the phone call to the manager. He's yeah. like, me and this guy Ken Floyd, he's coming up right now. We're gonna co-headline, woo. -woo. And when I saw him do that, and he gave me dates, like before we left beat ups, we already had ticket links. God what damn. damn. So I was like, damn, like, bet, like it's for real. Like, this motherfucker mm -hmm. showing me genuine love. Cause something you don't know, like, you don't know, cause everybody, like, so fake, you know, nowadays, like, everybody yeah. tell you, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, so I was like, damn, when I seen that dude, like, do that to me, like, I was like, bro, like, I got your back forever. Like, for yeah. the rest of my life, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'll, I'll fucking whatever, you know, like, well, I'll look out for you, your family. Like, he's like a brother to me now. And even after this weekend, like, it's just like, damn, bro. Like, we're just getting started, you know? We're not going to go across the country, experience different shit together. But, like, yeah, he looked out for me crazy, bro. And I just hope that that relationship never ends, you know? And then at the same time, Martina Mini, who's also another comic that you've probably seen him on your fucking For You page. He's always doing, like, crowd work clips. Um, he's, like, half Bolivian, half Iranian. Mm -hmm. He's also put me under his wing and started taking me on the road with him. And I respect that, bro, because, like, a lot of comedians, they don't want a motherfucker that's... I'm not gonna say funny, yeah, yeah, yeah. but like that's crushing, and then they gotta go follow that shit. Mm -hmm. And like for them, like they 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 eat it, bro. They're like, hell yeah, fuck nah, but like, that speaks on yeah. them too because they push me, you know. Yeah. Yeah. They believe in their how fucking hell funny yeah. they are too, you hell know. Yeah. And they do like especially hell that for yeah. Renee, mm -hmm. that one's like crush too, you know. Dude, yes, mm -hmm. and, and and I think is like I felt like that in Chicago, you know. In Chicago, sometimes there's comedians that like, oh, I don't want to be on the show with that motherfucker. Don't fucking like he's too funny. Like I don't give a fuck. You ever I heard never, some shit like that? I, I nah, cause that's like hate like that shit. Personal shit, like nah, hell no. Nah, I don't I don't mm -hmm. hang out with comics, but like I hang the most like, comedy comedians I hang out with are, like are these guys. You feel me? I don't hang out like in Chicago. I don't hang out with comics uh, again because I don't live like in the inner city, so yeah. I can't just hang out and I don't drive, so I can't just be everywhere, you know. Right. So um, I, I I don't do that, but like there's people that will like. Swap or, or or change the lineup because they don't want to go after somebody like with me, bro. I always bullshit. walk. I always show love to everybody, even comedians that never show me no love. People that I consider like big homies, OGs in Chicago. Mm -hmm. I always share their shit, even though they never fucking share none of my shit. And mm -hmm. and one of the things that like, I don't never take it personally because I feel like nobody owes you shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you fuck with somebody, it's because you genuinely fuck with them. Yeah, and yeah, if yeah, I yeah. like something, I'm gonna share it. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you never like repay me or never, never. Ne I don't give a shit, you know? Because funny is funny, but um. But yeah, man, just like uh, I, I was, I never walk into a show and be like in my feelings about it. I, I walk in because, like you said, I'm confident in what I'm doing. Yeah, hell yeah. I know when I, no matter what happens before me, I know when I go up there, I'm gonna do my fucking thing. Yeah. And I feel like that having that um, confidence blocks a lot of other bullshit. Because then a lot of motherfuckers be too in their head about oh man, it's because this like blame other shit for why they doing mediocre. I, I only ever blame myself for doing bad if I do bad. And if I do good, then yeah, I, yeah, it was me. You feel me? Yeah. And uh, yeah, I feel like you just gotta have that confidence in this game, and you gotta have thick skin because <clears> it's crazy. I, I mean, I was like, people tell me Hollywood is fake. You know, I hang out with people that are in Hollywood, and they're like, oh, Hollywood's fake, whatever. Woo -woo. And I didn't realize it this but until Friday, bro. I'm, I'm talking to you know, me and Renee are talking. And we know we're splitting money, we're splitting bread, and it's probably the most money I've ever made in comedy. You know, just in a weekend, you know. Mm -hmm. And then this other comedian, I'm not, I'm not gonna say his name, but this other comedian comes up. Mm -hmm. He's like, bro, I think you should be getting at least this much, bro. If you're yeah, getting yeah, anything yeah. less than that, they're fucking you over, bro. Yeah, Don't yeah. let these motherfuckers play with it. And I'm, I'm like, put shit in my hand. I'm like, bro, yeah. I'm happy to be here. You yeah. feel me? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. you give me a hundred dollars for sure. I don't give a fuck. I'm happy yeah. to be here. You feel me? And uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I was just like, bro, why would you even do that? You yeah, feel that's me? mad weird advice. Yeah, that, that's weird. His pocket, ch- his pocket watch, we, bro. Like, yeah, what kind of shit is weird, that, bro? Yeah, and I, that's I, some weirdo I, shit. I, I almost told him like how much we was gonna get. Yeah, but I was like, nah. Like I was just like, I was like, I don't want to talk about money, bro. Mm-hmm. And, and that's like, also how he's probably gonna talk like to somebody else about your money and shit about your bread. It's yeah. like the fuck you want that for? You know? Yeah, that's you some know. Bullshit. And like for Renee to put me in position, like I said, I'll forever be grateful for that shit because like. Like you remember, like the motherfuckers that looked out you at first, like looked out for you at first, you know, and like he did, bro. I don't give a fuck mm-hmm. what people say about him or like, and me and him are real similar in a way. Like, we we're crazy, bro. Like we we party, you feel me? Like we we, yeah. we we come in with a mission, like we're gonna fucking murder this show, and then we're gonna get fucked up. Yeah, yeah, and right. I mean, it's not a healthy <laughs> lifestyle or whatever, but <laughs> that shit. but I feel like with me, sometimes I feel like people judge me because I live like that, uh. and I feel he feels the same way because people look at him like that. Because he, be, but when we're together. Bro, we're like fucking like Same. <laughs> like yeah. twins. You feel me? Yeah, like yeah, let's yeah. get fucking fake, and we know what it is. You feel me? And mm-hmm. yeah, man. Like it's, like I I feel like it's, it's just real genuine love. So man, shout out my homie Renee Walker, man. Yeah, yeah. That, that shit reminds me like reminds me of our fucking fans too. Like we'll go live on IG and mm-hmm. motherfuckers be, already be like, <laughs> all twenty. Hey, what, what y'all drinking today? Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> motherfuckers. Like yeah, we yeah. can't take a weekend off. It's ten, it's ten yeah. in the morning, fool. The fuck. <laughs> but if y'all want to get it started, fuck yeah. it, fool. Yeah. Same, same, same thing with me. I, I had a clip that went viral on Instagram about cocaine. I don't yeah. know if I can, you can believe you can that. The Perix. But yeah, the Perix. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> dude, that clip got me like at least like 20,000 followers, bro. And, uh, and they're all cool kids. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now I have my DMs. I open, like, I go through my message requests, uh-huh. and there's just lines of coke. Motherfuckers, <laughs> motherfuckers sniffing lines off their, off their girl's titties, bro. Yeah. And then, like, as soon as I go live, I can't even be online more than 30 seconds. The fucking Perico start coming in. The emoji, <laughs> the key, the nose, yeah, the yeah. snow. The pear. It's all that shit, bro. <laughs> And it's funny because like, I went on TikTok live the other day and my dad's watching me, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. He's, he's talking shit to yeah, me, you yeah, know, yeah. he's fucking around. And it's all, everybody like, saca la bolsita, saca la bolsita. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, he's a fucking bullshit, Who's saying shit have had to be on, on fucking live? Uh, my, Said they be talking about fucking our moms and shit. Nah, yeah. no, what the fuck? I was alive and my, my mom joined the fucking live and I was like, I had to switch the whole fucking, the whole demeanor and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stop cursing and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Start fucking praying and shit. Yeah, and then I go, and then I go, and then I go, uh, all right, guys, my mom's here so fucking act right you know motherfuckers uh, are going damn your mom's fine as fuck uh, what's her act? they started following yeah. her bro they found her <laughs> they found, they found, found her, her some bullshit uh, hell no so, so take a picture with her like, where, uh, where's the next destination on the tour we're going to Boston on Friday hey shout out Boston east coast east coast I've never been that far east uh, Renee's going to Nashville on Wednesday I won't be there though I gotta go back home and then uh, I'll be so we, I go back home Wednesday and then on Friday, I leave to Boston, and we do four shows in Boston, Friday and Saturday. We got two and two. And then Sunday morning, I fly to New York. I'll be my first time in New York. Hell yeah. Doing two, we already got two sold-out shows in New York Sunday, and we just added another one on Monday, and I think that one's about to sell out too. So probably do three sold-out shows Hell there. Yeah. From New York, I come back home. Uh, I come back home from New York, and then that same weekend is Renee's birthday weekend. I'm going to Vegas. And we're gonna, Party. We got, we, got, we got two shows in Vegas. <laughs> At Wise Guys Comedy Club, and then uh, again, I've never been to Vegas, so yeah. it'll be oh, my shit. first time in Vegas. Damn. It'll be his birthday weekend. You know, finally have some money in our pockets and shit. Hey, so, yeah, well, cool. if you were getting cocaine yeah. DMs then, for yeah, imagine yeah, now you pulling <laughs> off the roulette some table pu- and everything. Selling some pussy, goddamn. <laughs> hey, hey, go ahead and have fun, bro. Yeah. But don't have too much fun. You already know what happened. What are you, my mom, bro? Get out of here! Nah, 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 nah. I didn't know you were gay, dude. Nah, I was talking about your ass. How you know what I'm saying? Like, so you sometimes you go a little too <laughs> nah, far. Hey, man, hey, Ken, bro, no, 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 sometimes you go a little too far. I mean, you have in the past, food. Yeah, hey, no. Ken, I'm all for it. You got a story about it. I know I you want to talk about it. I'm talking about it. <laughs> what story? What story? <laughs> I'm out here, though. <laughs> <laughs> remind them, remind them. Nah, you know, you bringing up my overdose, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Lalo? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know, it's a funny ass story, what the bro. Fuck you, 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 really happen? What the fuck? For real? Yeah, bro. Yo, nah, 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 I, didn't, I didn't die, obviously, right? But. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he resurrected. I, 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 I'm like, like Damar? Yeah, came back. They don't, they don't, they can't take me out, <laughs> oh, bro. Nah. I'm on my no. final life right now, bro. I'm like a cat. But, nah, um, <laughs> Cats in shambles, bro. Right? <laughs> yeah. what, what happened, bro? Shit. Don't do coke, man. You might become successful. You might sell out for a show. You might become that nigga. <laughs> but nah, um, oh, nah, look, um, nah, bro. Like I just, we, fuck. I mean, unfortunately, yeah, we do. We party a lot, and I, I, I've done drugs like before. I do, started doing comedy, yeah. and when I got into comedy, it was because I wanted to stop doing drugs. Okay, I was like, because I, I, I just used to find myself like 
in garages. Like I said, we just we'll get paid. You know, I was working a factory job. We get paycheck. Go cash the check. Go get a twenty four pack. Go get a fucking eight bottle of coke. Go sit in the garage with like four motherfuckers and just get fucked up till four or five in the morning yeah, and wild. go broke. You know, and do it every single weekend. And I was like, I need something. Like they got to. And then at that point, I was living with my parents. So. My parents didn't want me in the house no more. Like we didn't go. Like the homies' parents didn't want us in their house no more. Getting fucked up, so we we couldn't even find places to go anymore. And we just found ourselves getting kicked out of different places. And I was like, I don't want to live like this. What the fuck? I'm just like out here looking places for places to get fucked up. Like yeah. I want to have something to look forward to, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, and that's kind of another thing that pushed me into doing comedy, I, like into doing something that I knew I had a bigger purpose for, you know. And um, unfortunately, when you come in a comedy game, you realize that it it was, that it has too. Every, every, <laughs> every comedy, every comedian. It's almost like I feel, um, I, now I know why I'm a comic, because like, I was like, <laughs> I've been a comic my whole life. The mm -hmm. lifestyle, the way, the demeanor, but now it's like you come into comedy, you feel at home. Because these motherfuckers are reckless like you. Hey, bro, I might be a comic. Like dog, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> try it out, bro. Nah, I'm fucking Try it out, bro. But, uh, but yeah, and then, but like, no, nah, I was just, there was, I, I do a podcast as well. I've been doing the podcast longer than I've been doing comedy almost. Mm -hmm. I've been doing a podcast for like, maybe like, well, like three years, but like consistently, you know, every week we <clears> drop. <throat> and I got a big following back home. But I don't, it's not like viral across. Now I got people that find it and they DM it like, bro, I find your pocket. I listen to that shit every fucking week. Yeah, like, where's yeah, that, you know? Yeah. So um, I, at that point, there was this one day in particular where I was recording with somebody and I'm the same way, bro. I got drinks and shit. We get fucked Hell up. Yeah. Yeah. We make a day out of it, you know? Mm. And, um, and I was recording this podcast with like some young ass motherfuckers. Like they were like they're like eighteen, nineteen musicians from my from from my town and shit. And we're and we're just fucking around, right? And these kids don't even do drugs. They're, they're not mm -hmm. even drinking. They pulled out fucking cigars. They're, they're smoking cigars. I'm like, brother, <laughs> fuck is you doing, man? That's one of the top G's. Top G vibes. Yeah. And uh, and 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 in between, like at that point, uh, in between like camera takes because we had two cameras. In between camera takes, I would just stuff my nose with hella coke, bro. Because I, I knew that, like, I couldn't just, like, consistently do it because I knew the camera was going to be on me. You're like so, Amber Heard in that shit? Yeah. yeah so, sneaking in and shit? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. like a chip monkey yeah, shit yeah, right in the nuts, bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hiding that bitch right here, bro. I got the fucking sniffles, yeah. bro. This tissue's there, bro. bro. And, like, out, bro. I think I was just doing so much in such a short period. By the time they got to a point where the uh, the kids were talking, I was like, "All right, man, that's the episode." Man. <laughs> <laughs> and I kicked them out, bro. <laughs> Fifteen minutes in, they're like, "We're done." Yeah, I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah bro, yeah, I gotta get the fuck out." <laughs> yeah, and yeah, that, like if you go back, the episode I think is still up. The audio, I think the video got taken down, took it down, but but the audio, yeah, I'm, and like they're like he's, the guy's telling me like his music inspiration. I was like, "All right, y'all, that's the episode." <laughs> you like the fuck out of my house, man, and um and like they left. And it, now it's just me and, and my roommate, JV. Oh, and like, shit. he's like, he like he smoked out and he knocks out on the couch. And I'm just kind of like, I'm like, I'm feeling like hot, bro. I'm getting like real hot, bro. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? And I started like, I go in my room, right, to try to calm down. And I start feeling like, um, like it's, I just like start getting cold sweats, bro. The like the back of my head is like, like I got, like it feels like I got like a brain freeze, bro. Like feels horrible, right? Like, and I start like, I ain't gonna lie, my chest, I couldn't really, like it didn't hurt or anything. But I looked it up, I was like, what am I feeling? And then I was like, oh, that's like a, it's like a fucking, like, like a stroke, like yeah. drug overdose, you know, type shit. Yeah. So I was like, what the? And I think when I read that, I panicked even more. Fuck. So yeah. I kind of started having like a panic that's attack. That's WebMD for you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, fuck. Yeah. And then I went, like, I went to the back of the apartment, we got a sliding door, and I popped it open and to get some air. And I went outside, and I just, like, I was like, bro, I'm, like, I'm gonna die, you know, I was like, I'm fucking done. Mm -hmm. And I'm in the back, bro, I'm like hyperventilating and shit. And then there's train tracks, bro. So like right when I was starting to calm down, you just hear the fucking train pass, <laughs> boom. So I was just like in, a, in, in the mood. Yeah, you, you ever seen Venom and Spider Man when you yeah, play something yeah, loud? Yeah, yeah. And like, <laughs> I was like, ah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Uh, and um, I went back to my room, bro, and like I, I like I couldn't calm down, like I was fucked. So dude, I kind I went to the bathroom and I was like, bro, I'm, if I go to the hospital, I know that they're gonna like probably call my mom, and I don't. I don't I'd rather fucking die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. Then my mom comes in like, oh, hey, he's, he's on drug overdose. Fuck you know? that. Then there was a heart attack from Jack. Yeah, Fuck yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. I took me tacos. <laughs> Fuck yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm not going out. I'm not going out. Yeah. Yeah. I got too many yeah. fucking hot pockets, bro. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> shit happened to me with a jelly donut. Bro, I, I, I went to my room, bro. Like, I set up pillows and shit. Like, basically set up my room. Like, I'm like, all right, they're going to find me and shit. Like, I'm going to be good. Like, it will be good. I start like you know what I'm saying, and I and I sit down on the bed, bro, 
and I put on your mom's house the podcast. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it yeah. kind of it's kind of like a like a comfort show for me. Yeah. And I start watching it, bro, and like I just fucking like. I, c- I couldn't breathe no more, bro. You what know we, what was going through your head though? Like I'm done. This is it. Yeah, bro. But I've always been one of those persons that, like, and that's how I know. Like this is who I genuinely am. And I felt from that day, I even cared even less because I was like, bro, like that shit didn't scare me. You feel me? Like, <laughs> I was like hey, bro, it should. I was like the meal, wrap it up, D. <laughs> I'm ready to go. And I fucking put my head back, bro. And I was just like, like I could, I was just fucking tweaking out, bro. And I fucking like. Put my head back against the wall and then I fucking woke up in the morning, bro. No, man. I was like, what the f-? I woke up, the sun was beaming in my face, bro. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I gotta go to work. <laughs> yeah. I was like, fuck, I'm weird. I ain't got no PTO. Fuck yeah, it. Bro. And like, fuck, huh? I gotta clock yeah, in. bro. I gotta clock in. Fuck, should have died. Yeah, bro. <laughs> and I was, I was like, man, and that day I was like, all right, I'm gonna chill. And ever since that day, like, I never overdo it. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, I still dabble, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, I'm, I'm not, like, buying mountains of that shit no more, and I'm not, like, killing. Like, I'll buy a little bit just to kind of scare the demons yeah, a little yeah, bit, yeah, even, yeah. Pero. Yeah, just to sell out four shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like, some I live, some live. Like, like, Just but to even, get me through three shows in a night, but, huh? but, but even then, like, bro, like, you can ask them, like, I mean, man, like, no, don't get us involved. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, but, like, but, like, but, like, uh, like, bro, like, I got, like, I got like free people. From, I'm telling you, we did the meeting where people like handing me sacks of, of drugs, bro. Uh, we we drug everything, bro. And uh, bro, I, I still got most of that shit. I, I didn't. I barely, barely like in the parking lot right now. I barely killed the last <laughs> little bit of the first bag, bro. But I was like, all right, you know, I paced myself. Like, I think, I think it's always. I think, it's, I think it's just that everything set, in that, moderation, bro. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chocolate, coke. Chocolate, the, the, coke. The, the, I think the serotonin, you know, that I like from drugs or the comedians like from drugs. It's very similar feeling to like killing a room. Like making a room. So that's why I feel like like with this weekend, you know, having four sold out shows, like I didn't even need it, bro. I'm like, bro, I'm fucking. That's You're on your comedic rock star yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's what's like, up. Bro. I like, like the party, and I'm Mexican. You feel me? It's just the Mexican shit. And, and hey. like like the day that all that shit happened to you, how much you think you fucking did? Bro, it wasn't that much, bro, but it was like some fucking... That shit was probably cut, no? It was, probably wasn't. That's the problem. Because oh, I'm used to like... I'd rather, I'd rather buy coke that's garbage, as in like, you probably not going to feel shit, yeah, than yeah, get yeah. something that's like real pure, because yeah, that yeah. shit is not... See, we and over, that you, drip is fucking disgusting. You, you go overdose like on one line if it's that strong, you feel me? Like, yeah. And you never know what line it's going to be. That's fact. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, fuck that. Like, I That day, it was just some strong ass shit. And like, even from I took the little first one, I felt like... I was already feeling it, and, mm-hmm. and I just fucking, you know, I just fucking marrano, you know? I just <laughs> got that scared, bro. And, <laughs> but, like, ever since that day, I remember the plug hit me up at that day. He's like, that shit was fire. And I'm like, man, fuck you, dude. I overdosed, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, I almost died, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get three more, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that shit was fire. Yeah, run it back, run it back, run it back. I never, I never, I never bought from that forever again. <laughs> that shit's too yeah. good. Yeah, that shit was, hey, brother, relax. That shit was fire, that bro. That shit was straight from seeing that long, I wanted bro. some bullshit. Yeah. Hey, when the artist hey, come you, Know some funny shit, bro. <laughs> That's what we're here that, for. That, that, <laughs> yeah. that, um, it's a little bit of business. Bro. That fool, th- th- this week he paid me uh, to do an ad for his business. <laughs> not, not that business. <laughs> but like, oh, he does come yeah. on the side? Yeah, 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 yeah. He do construction yeah. on the side. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to do an ad for his yeah. fucking... And by three piles of plywood, you get a bro. fucking eight ball for free. I'm God, bro. I'm God, bro. <laughs> hard. You got to be careful what you buy, though. I mean, yeah. you know, There's fat on and all that yeah. shit now, bro. They're yeah. cutting that shit up like deep, yeah. bro. Like, yeah, you got to be careful with all that bullshit. Nah, nah yeah, I definitely do, man. I'm not. And I mean, I know I talked about it a lot already on here, but... It's not like I'm out here every day with that shit. Nah, promote it, bro. It's cool. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> promote it. Yeah. Nah, it's just, you yeah. know, like we got you know big shows and it's like, all right, we'll party a little bit. But then, yeah. Ever how that fucking that nickname come about? Too skinny. Too skinny, bro. I, when I was doing YouTube back back in the day, yeah. I was just talking shit and I was like, man, you know, I used to drop like parody freestyle raps. And I'd be like, my rap name's a little too skinny. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, when, and my full name, my real name, my name is Kenji Flores. And when I, when it's, but it's spelled K E N Y I, last name Flores. And I, I would like this is before I was like right when I was starting comedy. This is how big my head was. I was like, uh, what if I fucking do so good, and people want to look me up and I say my name is Kenji Flores, they're not gonna even know how to spell that shit because yeah. it's spelled fucked up. <laughs> so that was my biggest fear. I was like, they're not gonna be able to find me when, <laughs> when I make once it. I kill it, you know? <laughs> once yeah. I actually do yeah, this, yeah. yeah. So then I end, I ended up, uh, I ended up going with too skinny and. I mean, I, that like right now I look back and I'm like, that shit was cringe because I was like, people were bringing me up on stage as too skinny, you know? <laughs> like what I, the? And then like the worst part is like you go, <laughs> the worst part is. <laughs> 
Shawty. <laughs> I feel you. Like, what the? That's false advertising. Ain't no way. I just, I just is he a, after this guy? Or? <laughs> I, just, I just picture the, the white. Look different, eh? Like, just the crowd in a big ass shadow going over. <laughs> it looked like you're too lying. <laughs> uh, but, that's fucking hilarious. But uh, I ended up, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I, I still like did pretty good. With too skinny, you know, but then people were telling me, like, I sat down with people that I really respect uh, in Chicago, and they were like, bro, you're fucking hilarious. Like, you don't need gimmicks yeah, yeah, yeah. to make yeah. it. Like, just be yourself, and it'll work. Yeah. And I, so I, instead of doing Kenji, I still wasn't sold on it. I was like, I'm just going to do Ken Flores. That's mm. easy. <clears throat> and I started going by Ken Flores, and man, I swear to God, ever since then, like, that shit skyrocketed, yeah. you feel me? Breaking news, guys. Mm-hmm. Oh. Manscaped. Now sells beard products. Uh oh. <laughs> yep, they are once again revolutionizing men's revolutionizing men's grooming with the brand new Beard Hedger Pro mm. Kit. Damn. From a beard mm. trim to a fresh shave, the technology beard. behind the Beard Hedger Pro Kit allows you to shape your signature beard look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can't wait. Now you can finally use <laughs> Manscaped products to make your drapes. Match your carpet by, go- <laughs> oh, <laughs> by going to manscaped.com and using code PLP for 20% off and free shipping. Oh I don't know about you guys, nope. but I'm tired of shaving my, my balls and then trimming my face. At the yeah, I hate that right shit, after. Bro. Yeah. I hate yeah, doing I hate that. It, bro. I still got some fungus right here growing on the side a little yep. bit. Yeah. yeah, Me too. So it is time to tame your mane and no Ooh. one likes a weird beard. So you got to say goodbye to all your stubble trouble with Manscaped's Pro Beard Kit. Mm -hmm. And it all starts with the Beard Hedger. Mm. And it's this cordless trimmer that has a rotary wheel on it. Mm. So that gives you 20 different haircutting lengths. How many? 20 haircutting How many? That's a lot of balls, dreams. (laughs) (laughs) So no more messy drawers full of the extra add-ons. That's mm-hmm. ultra. Because the face grooming doesn't need to be hard. Get 20 nice. different beard lengths in just one guard. Mm-hmm. Plus it's waterproof. Oof. And it comes with a titanium-coated T-blade. Holy smokes. That's tough enough to hit. And you know what? When In my short barbering career, yeah, yeah. We used to, I used to have a T-liner, actually. Uh-huh. Yep. And that's what people used to use to kind of shape up, give you a shape up on the side. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. this is a really cutting-edge technology, honestly, that they're Why giving not? you. And it also comes with the no beard pun shampoo. Intended, but pun intended. <laughs> yeah, it right. also comes with the beard shampoo and the conditioner. Whoa! Yeah, so you're getting a really good deal here. Another two in one? That's crazy. You already know it comes with that <laughs> and some. Car- and you know, you clean, wash your car with it too. Matter of fact, <laughs> next the kit comes with the Manscaped's beard oil, Oof. Wow. an essential piece for your main facial accessory. Can't wait to use it on my beard. You don't want to have no ashy beard on you. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Facts. That's, yeah. Did every you hate that shit? Hey, my, hey, oh, my beard every time so you rub ashy. it, you know, some oh. flakes come off or, you know, some fire, some sparks. Facts, you can bro. light a fire. Related. And it also comes with some beard balm. And it's a pomade that shapes, styles, and moisturizes mm. for a sculpted look to attract any fellows or dames. Jeez, Johnny, you used it, right? How did you I, like it? I fucking love it. Look, this is the thing with me. I hate going to a store and trying to buy every Every single little thing uh-huh. for my fucking kit. Now it's just everything, one, bro. Because it's it's annoying. It racks it up. It's yeah. so expensive because you gotta buy the trimmer and the fucking extensions for it. So it's, it's really annoying. Yeah. And and a beard balm for me. I love the beard balm because it's kind of like the ending. It's like the John the, your hair. It's just uh, like this, and I'm out. I'm good. Fresh. It just complements it so well. I fucking love it. Like you were saying, you know, you gotta buy all these products all to go and try to make your beard look good. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the good thing about this is that with the br- Pro Beard Kit, it also comes with three free gifts. Oh How God. many? Bing, bada, ding, bing, three bada, ding, free gifts. Is it Christmas? <laughs> Santa. <laughs> a beard brush, a comb, and scissors to ensure your beard is Everything ready to impress. Need. Oh. So get 20% off and free shipping uh-huh. with the code PLP at manscaped.com. That's 20% mm. off with the free shipping at manscaped.com and use code PLP. Thank you guys and thank you Manscaped for sponsoring Love the you. show. Love you, man. Thank you. Something I saw in your fucking clips was that whole fucking Avanero extract bullshit oh that they had, bro. bro. What the fuck is like? Is that some shit that just goes on in like a lot of comedy clubs, or is it like? Yeah, a, bro, it is. Seriously, it's, like it's, challenges and shit. It's like, popular, like that. Not not challenge, but that, like that. That's like spi- cinnamon challenges. Right, that's, 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 I did that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that spicy that's shit, bro. Shit. That spicy shit is common. You, I bet you'll see it in a few different comedy clubs around here, bro. Yeah, we um. We got a few in Chicago, but that one that I did it was in Fort Wayne, bro. I had to drive like we drove like four hours. Wow. It's a whole different Damn. city. It's a 
And um, yeah, like there were man, that shit was crazy, bro. Like it looked crazy, bro. Like the, how the fuck do you go through a set? What, what, you even remembering shit? Well, the thing is, that I don't like spicy. I like food. I'm a big motherfucker, but I don't like spicy food, bro. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, I can't handle spice. Like even <laughs> no, hot Cheetos, that. I can't handle. Yeah, them, same bro. here. Yeah, They're too same. spicy for me, bro. Yeah, and I know people are like, what the fuck, you know? But I just don't like it, bro. And uh, and but like you know, like as a comedian for some stage time, you're like, fuck it, you know, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'll do it. Mm-hmm. And I had already done one in Chicago where they made me eat slices of habanero before the set. But it wasn't that bad, bro. Yeah. So I was like, all right, it's going to be sweet. Yeah. So when I get there, I, we were already running late because the time changes. Like, all fucked up, right? So I'm all out of place. And I walk in, and they're like, all right. So the way that show went was like, you're going to do a spoonful. And it's like a Duvalin spoon. It's not even like yeah. a fucking, yeah. but it's but it's not salsa. It's extract. Yeah, so extract. it's like the hottest yeah, yeah, shit yeah, yeah. of the peppers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I don't know. They put it into like those PSI numbers or whatever the fuck, you know, like oh, how, how many. Let's <laughs> go. Pressure. Let's go. Air pressure. Yeah. 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 What the fuck is the PSI? Not the PSI. My you know, the, the GPA. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So hey, my tire's going to be fucking pumping, yeah, bro. Yeah. bro. And they were like, oh, there's so many millions and now I, I don't know, right? Whatever. Yeah. But like they were comparing it to like like a Carolina Reaper was like nothing compared wow, to that no shit, man. you know? So I did the first spoon and I get into my first jokes and those kind of hit right away. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I don't know where, bro. Like I just started like like I can't avoid it now, bro. Yeah. And like the worst part is that like it was spicy, but the worst part was that like when it's spicy, like your mouth, you don't do anything. You don't even swallow because you don't want that shit to go yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. So now I got a mouth full of saliva. So the hardest part was dealing with the hot shit, but not trying to spit at people. There's a few punchlines where I'm doing oh, jokes shit. and just saliva's coming out because like <laughs> it's so hot, bro. And then I just started sweating like crazy. Yeah, he's spitting for and real. then like yeah, yeah spitting for like, let him spit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let, and, him and cook, they, let him cook. They, they, they made me they made me do like three more, bro, during my whole set. Like what the fuck? Damn. Like I still like did my thing and people came up like this old lady came up to me. She's like, you gonna be the reasons I need to wear a diaper tonight to bed. I'm like, oh, 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 yo, what yeah. the yeah, fuck? Yeah, Hey, yo. Like, hey, pull, oh, pull yeah. the diaper to the side. Yeah. <laughs> Make it happen. It's gonna be dirty, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, it depends. Yeah. Oh. Hey, I don't know. It depends. Uh, that's a Zimbo moment right there. That's what he was talking about. <laughs> but um, but yeah, bro, that shit was. That's a, she was crazy, bro. What a, what the a, callback, what a, the callback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's about that. That grandma fucking hitting on you and shit. So you got you got a lot more attention now, too? Now you guys are selling out you shows? You pussy? By bitches. Uh, Mad bitches, huh? Yeah, but like... Yeah, 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 for sure, yeah, yeah. Are they tortas? Are they in the DMs too? Hell yeah, hell yeah. That's yeah. our whole fan base. Hey, I, shout I, out to y'all. I, I, had a girl, I, I had a girl come. She drove like three hours to come see me on Friday, but oh, she brought her dad shit. with her. I'm like, this is fucking bitch. Three hours with your dad. I'm like, hey, bro, give me some time with you. <laughs> Take your daughter to the car real quick, but I'll be right back. Hey, so you know. And we, we did the, we did the meet and greet, and then. Uh, there yeah. were some bitches that wouldn't leave me. me alone, bro. Like, they were from Guerrero, and I'm from Guerrero. And, like, they just, like, were kicking, and they were, like, kept talking to me. They, like, wanted to take me. They're like, what are you doing? Like, we want to hang out with you tonight. We're, like, they wanted to fuck. Yeah. 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 But I was trying to see Shorty, because me and Shorty had already been chopping it up for a bit, you know? So I was like, well, I was trying to see what's up with her. But since she was with her dad, I kind of, like, whatever, you know, I kind of, like, stood to the side. Mm-hmm. And I was talking to these shorties. And then that shorty, she leaves, right? She messaged me. She's like, oh, well, I didn't know you had a wife. I'm like, what the fuck you talking about? What the hell? What the fuck you talking about? And she's like, oh, well, you know that girl right next to you? Like she was right there. No, she's like, oh, I was like, was like man, fuck that bitch. I don't know, man. <laughs> it, it was a funny ass. Sh- I don't even know if I can say this, but you can say whatever you want to hear. Well, I, don't, I know, but, but, but I don't know if he wants me to say this. <laughs> oh, you can he, say he, he's you not want. gonna listen, but don't cut, don't clip this. All but right, like, okay. uh, that one of the sisters ended up, and like, uh, we were doing the migrant. One of the girls that was right there waiting for me. Yeah, she ends up doing. Uh, she asked Renee, like, do the leg on me. But like uh, <laughs> she's like, but but like do it for real, and like Renee, we're already drunk, you know. So Renee yeah. pulls her leg, and he just starts like fuck, like humping her, and she's like pull my hair, and that motherfucker is crazy too. So he grabs just dry and humping, shit. pulled her, yeah, bro. <laughs> the There's a line of people waiting to meet us, bro. This dude's like dry fucking away. <laughs> And he like pulls her so hair. So pulls like they do this shit to everybody, else. bro, bro, bro. She pulls her hair. He pulls her hair back, bro. And like she's just like, oh, like she moans it. Like what I'm the like, fuck? I started, I'm like, mm, what the fuck? What the fuck? Bro, I'm hard too. Nah, shit. I got yeah, 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 shit let me, let me hey, in. what about me? <laughs> let me get in there, big bro. <laughs> hey, hey, so you want me to do something? Not, yeah, not just something. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Like, For sure. Then. I don't want a picture of what she's having. You want a picture of it? Nah. Say what's up to TikTok, bro. Something I did want to ask you and shit from like, because. 
all of us have actually we wanted to try to dabble into to stand up. No, 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 no. what the fuck? No, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're actually coming out next week to the to laugh actor. Now imagine we're gonna open no. for you. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. We're gonna warm them up and make sure they like look at what not to you do on stage, and then, and then not, you I'm... get on and kill it. Now my question was though, like, what does it feel like? Bombing, if you've ever bombed food, because you're fucking hilarious. Fuck anyway. Yeah, no <laughs> idea. You bomb, bro. You bomb. I don't know. And what, what the fuck does that feel like, bro? Because the words, bro. Like you're, you're, you ever have a dog die, bro? Words. Bad, bro. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Words. It's the worst feeling ever, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Because it's like, because you have one job, you know, it's to make people laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you go up there and don't do it. Like that shit is fucking horrible. But. It's never like I, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like I don't, I'm not. I don't go up there and just eat dicks. You feel me? Like it's like <laughs> just quiet as hell the whole nah. Hell, like yeah. I, for me, a bomb is like if a few jokes didn't hit or the volume of laughter wasn't loud. Right. Because right. again, like it's just people, like a some people are happy with chuckles and that's mm -hmm. fine. If people get chuckles, go home and eat. You know, good food like they murder. Fuck that, yeah, bro. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I need my shit. Like if I don't, if I don't fucking kill, bro. Like I, I need to kill in order for me to be happy. If I don't Ooh. fucking murder, I am fucking, I'm beating myself up. So I've never done as bad. Like, I, I have bombed before. But when I was bombing, like, really bad, I was still new. So I would be naive. To, I'm like, oh, the fucking crowd or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. you know. But now I'm I'm, I'm in it where I know that it's mo almost 90% of the time is on the comic. You know, you could have. Yeah. And, and if it's not, like, there's I've seen professionals that sometimes or I'll go up and I'm like, that shit was whack. And then I'll get off and then the next motherfucker will go on. And he kills. I'm like, oh, well, it was. They were not whack. I was whack, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I've been that motherfucker recently, where like I have comics get off stage and be like, ah, man, they're fucking, they're they're, they're tight, yeah. they're tight. And then I'll go up there and got them fucking crying, you know. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. oh, you tight, bitch. Like I'm, yeah. I'm fucking good. Nah, you ass. And you study the the comics before you, bro. Like, how, what what's like, what jokes are landing? What kind of jokes are landing? Uh yeah, not necessarily more of what's landing, but I try to I always pay attention to see what I can like like there's like a lot of I always watch for people for shit that people leave on the table, you know? Mm -hmm. Like if a comic talks to a crowd, like uh like yes, yes this happened yesterday actually. The comic before me, he asked the there's two guys together, right? He's like, What are you guys on a date? you know? And yeah. people are like, ah ha ha yeah. and then he's like, No, um, that's my brother in law, he's dating my sister. Mm -hmm. And um, and he's like, oh, okay, whatever. Ooh, I thought you guys were fucking, you know. And it was, it was kind of funny, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I go on stage, and the first thing I say, I look at him, I was like, so who's the sister fucker? <laughs> and like, the fucking <laughs> crowd goes crazy, bro. And like, and then and at that point, I'm like, bro, you let that dude fuck your sister, dude? Like, I was like, what's your name? I, I was like, what's your name? Like, Pedro. I was like, you let a motherfucker named Pedro fuck your sister? Like, I'm like, and I'm going, in. Be me, I'm going yeah. in on that motherfucker, bro. Yeah. I'm going in on him. And like, and like, there's a point even later in my set where I bring up my sister, and I was like, "Relax, bitch." And like, <laughs> like, like, people like, yeah, yeah. like it's, a, it's a roller coaster I take yeah. people through, you know. Yeah. And um, that dude actually, who I was talking to, that was the sister fucker. Yeah. He came from Vegas to see me, bro. That's, uh, that's yeah, cool. yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so cool. it, it was dope. like he was happy. He like, bro. Yeah, you know, look, he happy. Huh? Like, yeah, he, yeah. yeah, he's happy. Yeah. He fuck with me, bro. Like it was yeah. fire. Like it was, and then I. But also another thing is like I don't I, I don't do it to offend people. Mm -hmm. I do it to laugh with them. I want you to have yeah. fun with me, you know. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. Like I'm, I'm not I'm, like because there's comedians that you see them go on stage and they try to just shut somebody down. Like ah oh, yeah, you yeah. stupid. Yeah, you like, fucking liberal. It's yeah, like what the fuck. I, I, yeah, I, don't, I don't do that. Like I want I want us to all have fun together. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. There's um. Yeah, there's a clip where people kind of on TikTok people went fucking they they fucking were. Killing me in the comments. Oh bro. yeah, been there. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. You know? <laughs> yeah, I've been there, yeah, been there. Been but, there. Yeah. but like at the end of the day, bro, me and that kid and the whole crowd that night were having fun. And it was the one where I call him like something out of an apocalypto movie or some <laughs> shit. <you know? laughs> and that clip is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I and then I went on live, bro. I don't know if it was on TikTok or Instagram, but I'm on live, right? And then his mom joins. Oh. And she's like, hey. My son was the kid that you called him Apocalypto, woo, and I'm like, fuck, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah, my bad. She's like, no. And then she leaves with another comment. She's like, yeah. no. He said, it was his first comedy show. He said, that's the most fun he's ever had in his life. That's yeah. dope. He loved you. So I was like, you know, as long as me and him are good, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't give a fuck what people say. You <laughs> yeah. feel me? Like, that's just annoying. The motherfuckers who, who start defending other people, it's like, you don't even fucking know. You don't, you don't, you don't know. know. You don't know what's up. Yeah. But I learned, you can't argue with everybody. And you know, the one thing, I, like, one thing that I will say that I learned from, like, my early YouTube days, I had some shit go, like I said, it was semi-viral. 
on YouTube and like people were, were always like, oh, is his eyes open or he's mm. fat as fuck, like all that shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Like, like, but I, I got things like I could, you know, yeah, I could yeah, take yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So I already knew what it was like. So now negative comments don't affect me. They nah, just, they don't like, do shit. They make me laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and my favorite part is when somebody leaves a negative comment and I use that comment and post another TikTok <laughs> where I leave the comment on there yeah. and then that shit goes viral. It's like yeah. that bitch. <laughs> Make you viral, you know what I mean? Like, and it's like, you nah, know, sometimes, that, hey, sometimes those motherfuckers are creative though. Yeah, like they, they yeah. be, they be dissing you, but they come up with some creative shit that should be making you laugh. Sometimes. When it's funny, yeah, yeah. When it's funny, like when it's funny, I reply. I was like, I'll be like, hey, let me know, bitch, you got one, bitch. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, you got, you got, you got, you got, you got, you got. And like, it's funny because people like my comment and their comment. You know, they be like, oh, he's a good sport. You know, yeah. which I am. It's fuck. And then there's people. It's funny because some people do it just to get your attention, bro. I've had people tell me like, ah, this shit trash, and I'm like, and I'll reply. Be like, hey, I was like, I was like, calm yourself, you know, just yeah. some, some shit, and they'll reply like, hey, bro, my bad, I'm a big fan, I like, fuck with you, yeah, I fuck with you, yeah, bitch, fuck you, dude. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. be roasting you, fuck. Yeah, yeah. but I, but but I like it, like like people love that shit, and I feel like that's the relationship that I'm creating with my people, like that's why we're so close. Like I go on live, people start talking mm. shit, and I talk shit back, you know, I don't I don't hold back, bro, and that's why we keep getting banned, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What's the craziest you ever had someone like? Like who didn't take that shit well, and they were like just trying to talk shit too, like in person. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did a show at a. I'm a big guy, obviously, right? So like, nah, it's hard nah, for people. Nah, I, 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 I relax. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like I'm a big guy, so so it's hard for me. Like, like it's hard for people to like. Like they're gonna eat that shit most of the time because they're gonna be like, oh, my motherfucker gonna fuck me up. And the way I carry myself too is like they're probably like, I don't want to fuck with him. You feel me? Yeah. There was a show I did though. I, I run uh, the Latino night at, at the Laugh Factory in Chicago, and um, that shows at eleven thirty on Friday. So at that time, people are already, already drunk as fuck, bro. <laughs> More mean, wings. Including me. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. Everybody. So I went. We don't on, know what the fuck we're yeah. doing. <laughs> so I went on stage, bro. And I'm talking shit, bro. I'm talking shit, and there's a there's a black there's like four black um, people that are sitting in the in the first row, and at the Laugh Factory in Chicago, the first row, your table is the stage. That's how close you are. What oh the damn! Fuck? So, so they're like at my feet, you know, mm. and I'm starting to talk shit, but they're so drunk that they're not like comprehending, you know. Yeah. And then like, and there's one dude specifically, like he's fa like there's a girl. Who's so drunk she's falling off the chair like this? <laughs> oh, shit. It's a fucking Thursday night yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bitch, you guys, don't you got work tomorrow? Bro, bro, she was faded, right? And then there's a, the other guy who's just drunk as hell. Like he just, he, like I knew he was drunk because I'm in front of him and he's looking like away. <laughs> and, and then like the, he's still laughing though. Like, the, 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 the other two people that were there were like uh, they were there they were watching, but they were so drunk like he's like they couldn't comprehend, you know? Yeah. So I'm doing, and I was like, what the fuck's up with y'all, motherfucker? You know? So I just start talking shit to them, <laughs> and we're having fun. And then, like, the, the guy that was looking away, he starts talking shit back. Yeah. He's like, man, well, man, what's up, bro? Like, I'm just, I ain't fucking around. I have, and, like, I couldn't even understand him, bro. <laughs> Some boom But at shit. that point, I'm so <laughs> drunk, too. I'm like, motherfucker, what? Like, <laughs> Catch and, your face. Hey, bro, right, yeah. So, like, and at that point, like, um, like I have a tendency, and I need to stop, because I know there's good nights like these, and people might take it well. Yeah. I have a tendency, like, if I'm, if I'm rolling, I might call somebody a bitch, yeah. But, oh, I, but yeah, not yeah. because I'm like, oh, you're a bitch. But it's just yeah, like, yeah, hey, like when your bitch. homies and shit, like, yeah, 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 like, hey, yeah, And and I and I, you know, you know, people don't take that shit well sometimes, you know. So I'm talking to him. I think I let it slip out a few times. So at this point, he's <laughs> just like, man, and about so, no jumping. So he stands up, yeah. right? So he stands up. I'm like, hey, bro, sit the fuck down. <laughs> and I'm just, we're talking shit. And then the security at this point, he's a, he's a big dude like me, and he he he's kind of he's walking up to the stage and he's looking at me, you know, waiting for me to be like, hey. But at that, I'm not gonna be like, I'm security in him, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, fuck yeah, that yeah. shit, bro. I'll kick the fuck out of you, bitch. <laughs> so, like, I was waiting for him to, like, do something, right? Yeah. But he did it. And it got to a point where it got awkward, you know? But I still made a joke out of it. I, like, <laughs> like that, I think that motherfucker was wearing like a camo vest or something. I'm like, ah, oh, that motherfucker look like an army soldier. <laughs> so I'm, just, yeah, like, I'm fucking with him, right? Yeah. So people are laughing. And then, like, I literally, like, flipped it, bro. Like, I think I went from, like, talking shit to actually doing jokes. I'm not going to say it was on him. It was a part on me, too, because I was also drunk. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. I came a little bit too aggressive, you know, and I've seen people do it where it don't go well. Mm. So I kind of flipped it, and I got, like, I just relied on the funny shit, and he ended, he chilled out. He sat down. Mm -hmm. And then towards the end of the show, he was like, bro, I want to be a comedian, too. And I'm still <laughs> up there, right? <laughs> Hey, you want to come, come on my podcast? Yeah, like, de las pilas, <laughs> yeah. He's like, he's like, let me come up there, bro. He's a big. I got a picture with him too. I show, <laughs> I show it to you. We took a picture after the show, bro. Yeah. And he's, I want, I want to, I want to do comedy too. 
I was like, all right, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. <laughs> what the fuck I got to do with me? Uh, but it's my time. Right. Yeah. And, and he's like, nah. And, and, I'm, and I go into my next joke. Like, the show's about to end, bro. He's like, no. Nah. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? Now. He like, Let me get up there right now. <laughs> what the fuck? And he it's starts like walking toward, He starts walking towards, like, the stairs. Bro. I'm like, yo, chill, chill, chill. Oh, like, yeah. we can't do that right now. We, we're wrapping up the show, bro. I can't have you just come up here. You ain't drunk as fuck. Yeah. So he's like, and he, and he looks at me like, for real, bro? <laughs> for real, bro? <laughs> But at that point, I don't know. Like, and, and at the same time, I don't know if you want. Like, I don't know if you're really gonna grab the mic from me, yeah. or he's just gonna, <laughs> gonna fucking stick me in the face. You know, like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I don't want that motherfucker. To eat. I'm not gonna let you get hey, that close to me. What did that motherfucker went up and just started crushing, bro? Yeah. Like, yeah. The drunk yeah. motherfuckers went up and shit. I remember that black guy. I mean, I respect, but fuck that shit. I'm like, bro, hell no, nah, you're not coming up here, bro. No, my day. So then, yeah, so then the security came in, they're like, bro, come on, like, we gotta go. And then the bitch that was passed out, like, she was passed out, bro. But, like, I kept looking down, she was just like, they had to carry her out. I'm like, bro, somebody get this bitch out of here, bro. <laughs> so they picked, they picked them all up, they all went to the bar. Then the fucking show ended, I'm like, all right, man, we're good, they're gonna be gone, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, walking around, you know, people taking pictures, we doing that. I come out the bar, that motherfucker's right there, wait for the guy, damn. <laughs> I was like, fuck, he's like, hey. I was like, fuck. <laughs> I was like, what's up, bro? And I went up to him and I like tried to shake his hand. Yeah. And, but he's, he's like so drunk in the seat, he's just talking like, yeah, man, I want to do this shit. He's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you this, though. I was like, yeah. He's like, you a funny motherfucker, bro. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> shit, bro. I thought you going to be my ass. Yeah, yeah. I thought you going to be my ass. Bro, and he shook my hand hard as fuck. <laughs> I feel like he wanted to. He <laughs> grabbed my shit like a McChicken. Like, 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 bro, bro <laughs> he grabbed my shit, bro. Like, like, he let me know, like, I could really do that to you if I wanted to. But, but that was the only time, you know. Like, luckily, bro, like, I don't have awkward. Like, I'm too good at this shit. Bro. I mean, I just, you know, talk to him. Yeah, talk to him. But, but I don't, I don't, I don't, you feel me? I don't, yeah. I don't have those problems, bro. Like, Oh, I, 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 there was this girl who was like, sometimes they do it out of support to heckle you, you know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah. you got to heckle back. But like, I don't, bro, like mo, like nine out of 10 times, if you, like, it's going to be very rare somebody will one-up me on a joke. Very yeah, rare. Yeah, like, yeah. That's, that's in a conversation, stand-up, whatever. So you're going to let me have the mic, bro? Like yesterday, all weekend people were yelling shit out and I was flipping on them fast, bro. <laughs> and the room will get the fucking shaking because it's so funny because they know that it's on the spot. Yeah. Like, I, I, asked, I asked this girl, I was like, have you seen this movie? I was doing a Marley and Me bit. And I was like, you see Marley and Me? She's like, no, I'm Mexican. I was like, well, you got TV, bitch? <laughs> and like, people were just like fucking laugh, you know? Like, it was funny, bro. That's what I like about that, like, that whole fucking, uh, the club setting. It's, it's more intimate, it's smaller and shit. Mm -hmm. You're able to fuck, like, if somebody yells something out, a comic might fucking react. Bro, we've been to a couple of shows. Like, we went yeah, to, like, yeah, Bill Burr in a mm. big-ass venue. Nice. We went to go see Tom Segura, too. And that nice. fucking girl. And, like, these motherfuckers, these drunk-ass, same motherfuckers that show up yeah. to, to clubs. Drunk as fuck, bro. They start yelling shit, and these fuckers can't hear them, bro, because they're too fucking far. Yeah. And this is just—they're just fucking up the crowd around them. So that's just—that's just stupid annoying. Do you know bro. one thing, bro. Like, I—I I, I mean, it sounds me like fucking hypocritical coming from me, but you don't need to be drunk to go to a comedy show. Nah, hell if, no. if you go to a comedy show where they don't sell liquor, you'll have more fun because you're gonna be attentive to what's going on. You're gonna pay attention. The jokes are not gonna go over your head. Yeah. When you're already buzzing. And your your goal is to get fucked up. You don't yeah. care about what's they don't going give on. a fuck. Yeah. And that's the shit you too. Know? Like these motherfuckers will pay like 150, 180, yeah, and just get fucked up. Like for what? And get kicked out. Like what? Yeah. What do you? Yeah. Hey, remember at Bill yeah. Brothers, motherfuckers got kicked. Yeah. Some motherfuckers yeah. next to us got kicked the out. The wrong motherfuckers got kicked out by. Oh, yeah. taste. <laughs> we were like, hey, it was these foods, and they took the wrong foods. We we're like, all right, nah. This and then they bullshit. taste some food in the fucking hallway. We we're yeah, like, all right, bro. this fucking lit today. Ima right? Imagine getting tased at a comic. Come on, bro. Like, well, he's like, I'm not going nowhere. I'm not fucking leaving. All right, I'm gone. I guess we leaving. I guess we leaving. Yeah, I guess we leaving, bro. Yeah, nah, yeah, I was like, like it was right there in Colorado Springs. What was it? What was that place? Fucking the middle of the desert. It was in the middle of the fucking desert. Fucking Red, white Red people Rocks. fool. I had a yeah, yeah. I had a fucking I had a NASCAR you, who, jacket on. You saw Bilber at Red Rocks? No, nah, we saw nah, Red Rocks. Nah, nah, it was, was uh, out here in oh, California. Oh, I'm trying to think. Red it's Rocks is in Colorado. It's some fucking nothing yeah, city, by the way. Fuck. Some fucking nothing. It was like Colorado Springs, wasn't it? It was a like casinos and shit. Oh, okay. Okay, so then this was like like it's popping off and shit and and. Like I'm like tripping out because a bunch of white people fool, yeah. and we're like nervous as fuck fool. But I, luckily I had a NASCAR jacket, so I'm like, Shaky fuck ass that. <laughs> I'm out of here, fucking Dale Earnhardt and shit. They get the straw, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Just keep it. Brother, uh, I, I'll match you, dog. Fucking I'm bless the bottle. Not brother, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> nah. he, he hey, the, get your own. He gives you the shot. He keeps the bottle. I match you, that bitch. He's like, yo, this fucking mother can't drink all that shit. What the fuck? 
But yeah, like comedy shows, bro. Like if if not, I don't even like when people are high, bro. Yeah, because you're slow at that point. You're not yeah. like you miss shit. You, you might like yeah, yeah, you're gonna miss shit. Like yeah. the best way to watch it, in my opinion, is by yourself and sober. Mm-hmm. Because at that point you're not you're not with a group of homies and you don't have to like wait. Are you, I thought that was funny. That was funny. Like sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. La- sometimes laughs. If you're with a group, you depend on your people to laugh so you can laugh with them. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And sometimes you don't want to be the only one laughing, so you hold back. Nah, I hate if, you, if you're by yourself, fucking, you're gonna let it out like crazy. You're not gonna worry about anybody else. You're, gonna get, you're just gonna enjoy. You're gonna lock in, and it's gonna be the best experience. That's yeah. a, but that's such high school vibes though. I, I've always hated that about people when they would look at the like the pop, the most popular kid. It's like, oh, is it cool to laugh at this? Like, they would all look at this food. Oh, yeah, yeah, And I hated yeah, yeah. that show. I was like, that's whack, food. Fuck like, just that. laugh at what you think is funny. Cornball that shit. There you go. What about growing up, bro? Like, who who did you find funny? Because I know you mentioned Cat Williams earlier. That, by the way, motherfucker. Here's Cat, Cat yeah. Williams. Like, his old shit is my favorite. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That, that new special wasn't it. Yeah. The one, uh. Nah, all his new shit suck. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yeah, that yeah. motherfucker, he literally went on. St- I think he went, like, on, uh, like on a TV thing. And he was talking about that special, trying to promote his special yeah. and shit. And he was like, nah, I didn't, even, he's like, I didn't even work the clubs. I didn't even, like, what? And then when yeah. I listened to it, I was like, yeah, this shit is ass, but you could yeah. tell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. That's the point, you know, sometimes you get to a certain point. Like, I, I just hope that I never get to that point, you know. I, I want longevity in this shit. And I never, I hope, that, like, my creativity never dies. My hunger never dies, you know, like, for more success, you know. And I feel like, um, I don't, I, wish, I hope my create like, like, luckily for me, like, I've been this person forever. It's not like, there's people that learn to be funny. I've... I got I got it in me, you know. Yeah, 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 it's just a matter sure. of like working it into bits. That's where the work ethic comes in, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But as far as like the the creativeness and the funniness, like I, it's in me. So I hope it just never burns out. You feel me? Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as people who I looked up to as, that were really funny, really really funny. Um, I mean, Cat Williams for for sure. Uh, but I would probably say like most recent, you know, like the Latinos that I really fuck with, like Felipe Esparza, yeah, I'm a big fan of. It. Chingo Bling was the first comedy show well, I, I ever went yeah. to. Yeah. I actually, uh, you know, it's funny, I, the first comedy show me me and my boy Chins ever went to was to see Chingo Bling out there. And uh, I actually, it went full circle, bro. I ended up opening up for him when next, in Chicago about a, about a yeah. couple months ago. That's and, and it was crazy, because like I, I saw he was coming, and I hit up the club, I was like, yo, let me open up for him. Like I'm a big fan of Chingo. They're like, ah, oh, like, um, we already booked. Like, they had booked some random ass white girl, bro. I was like, no, <laughs> they're gonna book a white girl for a Chingo Bling show, you know? So, yeah, so, so salty, salty, right? And then, luckily, bro, like, Chingo Bling came across my shit on Instagram, and that fool got my phone number from another motherfucker that I was cool with. And uh, his name is Anthony Ye. He does the radio show, the Dana Cortez show or some shit. Okay. And, um, and, and that fool gave him my number. And I, one day I was just kicking there, and Chingo Bling calls me. He's like, yo. I was like, what's up? He's like, he's like, hey, man, it's Chingo Bling. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I like, that don't fuck man? What, yeah, fuck? What, what happened, dog? <laughs> and uh, he, he's like, uh, yeah, man. He's like, I'm going to be in Chicago uh, in a few weeks. I was wondering if you wanted to come through, man, do a spot. I was uh, like, bro, I would love to. Hell yeah. Mm. And I was telling him, like, you're the first comedy show I ever went to and shit. He's like, all right, man, bet for sure come through. And we still, to this day, text back and forth, you know? That's crazy. Yeah, and, that's uh, crazy. And, the, and the same thing with Felipe Esparza. I was... I'm a big fan of Felipe. We went to go see him at the at, at a theater in Chicago. We went to a fight out there, bro. Went to, oh, went to go see Felipe, bro. Because yeah, he did a, he did a theater show, but they weren't assigned seats. So it was like first come, first serve. Uh, so you got a group uh, of four motherfuckers. They want to sit together, you know, and there's three seats. They're just lapping it. <laughs> so I'm just so, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm, so so my homie, he goes to the bathroom and I stay by myself in like a row. And there's four of them, and there's like three seats empty, and the, like so some gang member, gang making ass motherfuckers. They're like, "Hey, f- let me get that motherfucking seat." <laughs> I was like, "What?" I was like, "No." And I'm sitting down. What are you talking about? He's like, "Bro, go sit back there." I was like, "Nah, fuck that. Like, I'm not getting up." Hey, I would have been like, "All right, nah, bro, uh, bro." Hey, how's it going? And then it was like four or five of them, and like you know, they got the long hair, big gold chain, like real gang mother. I was like, "These motherfuckers got guns on them," you know. Yeah. And they were like, and at that point, like my voice was shaky and shit. But, uh, <laughs> I was like, I'm not moving, bro. No, you, you know? go. I was like, nah, bro. I was just Stop. like, nah, bro. No. My eyes was watery. Oh, eyes was watery and shit. I was like, nah, bro. You got it first. Nah, nah. You got it first. But I was like, fuck that shit. Like, I'm holding my own, you know. And they, they were, like, I, they, they thought they was gonna punk me, but then you know, I was like, fuck that, bro. I'm not fucking leaving. And they all walk away, right? I was like, fuck. Like they're gonna catch me right after the fucking show, right? Hard fuck. Yeah, right. And then my homie comes back. My homie comes back, and I was like, "Bro, they was trying to fight me over the seats." He's like, "Damn, they should have gave it to them." And I was like, "Man, fuck you, Mario, trying to be, we trying to impress you and shit." How about you don't leave? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, "You should have just gave it to him." Fuck, fuck out of here. <laughs> when that shit was over, he was checking over his shoulder. I swear to God, I was. I was like, hey, hey, when it, hey, when the show's done, run. Yeah. Yeah. The car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We sped walk to the car. <laughs> I 
mine suffered for no snacks. Hell nah, fuck bro. That. Fuck everything. <laughs> Side hard as but, fuck when they left. Yeah, but fu- I mean, oh I guess God. full circle, Felipe DM'd me a few weeks ago, too. Oh, oh, he's he's like, hey, funny bro. ass fool Damn. and all this shit, so... That was pretty fucking dope of him. All kinds of people hitting me up now because, you know, Jimmy Omilde, we're supposed to have dinner out here today. I mean, this weekend, but I haven't hit up yet. Oh, for sure. You should have canceled this shit, fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, fuck. Nah, fuck that, fool. I nah. wouldn't have showed up. Matter of fact, I still won't. I'll leave right now. Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, yeah. Dope, Jimmy hit you up, though? Yeah, that's tight. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. some casual shit, like yeah, he's like, you? yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're like, I don't know about you guys, but like when your accounts start growing, you ever have some like famous people hit you up? Nah, and, nah. Uh, <laughs> never, never. <laughs> and, and, like a TikToker, man. <laughs> and, and then you check your, their, your DMs and you message them like in 2017, so I'm embarrassed <laughs> of that shit. Go delete that shit. <laughs> I'm saying, Yo, I'm I love like, you. The reason like, bro, let this. me meet y'all. Suck your dick, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm bro, bro, I think I, I messaged Jimmy Milda. <laughs> When, like, first time I hit, I was starting to fall off a little bit ago. <laughs> I'm like, bro, first time I hit, that sucks now. This <laughs> 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 the biggest group right now. And right and now there's a leak. They're like the he, he they're probably just, it. He, he probably just messaged me just to be like, hey, you see the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was like, nah, but yeah, yeah. He's like, it was like, you're funny as fuck, bro. He's like, let's hang out. I'm like, ah, yeah, it's funny. Nah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, let's do it, let's do it, bro. I'm trying to do the leg on you and shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, Duno's also another motherfucker that I was like, I'm a fan of Duno's, you feel me? Yeah, like, I'm, hilarious, bro. I'm glad that he he was a real street motherfucker, like a, you know, just industry, just mm. a Cali kid, you know, LA kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he turned into an influence. A lot of people go viral and don't know how to flip that into like something like monetary. Yeah. You know, Positive, yeah. and it's hard to get into comedy right away because you start sucking. You feel me? Like, because it's hard to. Eat. I mean, because you'll sell the tickets, but then you suck. Next time you want to come to that city, you're not gonna sell them anymore. You know, yeah. people are gonna be like, "Fuck that! That dude show suck." Yeah. His podcast is good, but anyway, mm-hmm. like he blew up. He's got hella podcasts. You making yeah, money, you know? Mm-hmm. And like, you know, he came through the show. He did six minutes, bro. And like, he did he, comedy. I got, I got his phone. Yeah, he did comedy. He's he did comedy. Yeah, yeah, he posted <laughs> on his IG. I see yeah, that he, po- shit. he tagged me sick. and shit. Yeah, yes, and he, he, he gave me his phone number too. We tapped in. He's like, we we're supposed to go out and party, but. We didn't leave the club till like one two in the morning, bro. Yeah. I hit him up. I was like, "Hey, bro, he's like, bro, you lagged." I was like, "Fuck." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But but you know now I'm cool with Duno. You know, it's just like people be tagging him in my videos all the time and shit. Like, yeah, nah, Duno, yeah. motherfucker. Like, it's cool, you know. That's like, another motherfucker right there too. Who like uh, that that goes to show like if you're funny, bro, you're gonna shine through. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. and, and that's and another, he's another motherfucker that's naturally funny. Yeah, too. naturally yeah. funny. Like those are always the, the dudes that like uh, end up popping off because. He's consistently funny and shit. Yeah, so yeah. That, that's like one of the few industries and shit where like you can't fake the funk and shit, huh? Nah, like, it's just like you're funny. Like in music and shit, it's like, like people who are trash fucking make it, fool. Yeah. But yeah. in com- in comedy and shit, it's like you gotta be funny. Like, There's no, no editing, what. you know. There's no auto tune yeah. in comedy. Like, you can go up there and show them, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know that's that's it. That's it. Like that's Some why a lot of people. Shit. A lot of people that are good at podcasting but not comedy, like they'll do the, like Duno. What he does is like the live podcast, you know. Yeah. And that's cool because you get the same bag, you know what I'm saying? But you don't gotta like. You don't got to fake it, you know? You don't got to yeah, pretend, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you know, you're not... Because you don't want to do that, bro. Like, that's one of our... Like, that's why a lot of people who put up clips, like clip comics, get frowned upon because these motherfuckers, influencers, YouTubers or whatever, they book a whole headlining gig at a club, um, you know, they get... You know, they, they, they take somebody's spot and then they fucking suck, you know? So they're kind of like, what the fuck? Like, it's just... Um, yeah, you know, I guess I get it why they have a bad rep sometimes. I think it's funny as fuck at your shows. The shit that I love the most is um, because I hate when people fucking talk at shows, bro. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up and let me hear. Mm-hmm. And you'll be like, hey, shut up, bitch. Yeah, That's just, yeah, like, yeah. I'll be like, no, I'm not. Like, let him yeah. be and shit. Like, yeah. Bill Burr, when we saw him, he was like, for the most part, ignoring something. And he yeah. said a few comments, but he kept it cool. You, hey, shut up, bitch. I'm talking. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, time to talk. Yeah. 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 That's just funny as fuck to me, bro. Yeah, and, and I think when you're like talking about people like Bill Burr, it's harder when you're doing arenas. arenas. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like you can't pay attention to everything. There might be fights in the three hundreds or yeah. whatever and shit. The pores, but <laughs> but <laughs> the pores. <the> <laughs> but but uh, but like in the me club, over there the three hundreds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have signs it, it, and shit. Nah. Like, I can't even read that shit. I love you, Bill. <laughs> I love Office for family. Nah, but like you know, and, and like in clubs it's a little bit harder. And like like I I hate like I hate not addressing it because then it's just like oh he was scared or whatever fuck, you know. And there was like Some when I fir- when I first started comedy. I was so scared to break out of my set. I would only do my set, and I would mm. ignore heckles. I would ignore all that shit because I was like, I don't want to. I don't want to lose track of my jokes, you know. And then I just recently started getting real comfortable on stage, like in this past year and this year. And now it's like, now I know I can trust my. I trust my instincts because yeah. there's so many times I went home and I'm like, man, I should have said that. That would have been funny. And it's just like the worst. Like it's mm. one of those things that keeps me up at night. Like, man, I should have said that. I fucking. I need to trust my 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 gut. You
I ain't gonna lie, bro. There was a dude that was heckling at the last show, and there was a point where I was like, I was talking, I do like a gay bit or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, and he's like, oh no, what? Like gay, <laughs> homophobic. And like he was just like, yeah. well, he was being like homophobic, right? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, you know what, bro? It'd be the most homophobic motherfuckers that want to like the dick, bro. Facts. I was like, you out here talking That's all right. that shit, you probably be getting fucked. <laughs> and, I, and and then I was like, I was like, you came, I was like, you bought tickets to the show just so Renee could do the leg on you. Like I'm just, <laughs> I'm talking shit to this fool, and this whole is homies are lying, the place is lighting up. But like at that point, I was like, well, whatever, we're gonna see, like. Uh, I mean, if you take it away or not, but sometimes that's people yeah. people just want that, you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. they just want that. It, but it sucks, like it sucks, like that. Sometimes, like the, like there's comedians that strictly put out those clips where they're just shutting down hecklers, and then it kind of green lights oh, other yeah. people to buy tickets and do that, you know? Yeah, yeah they want to. Yeah, they want to be a clip. They want to get put into something, you know? And that's not the goal. We're still trying to do comedy. Mm-hmm. That just those moments are just best when they happen randomly, you know? Like yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I, like, how do you know <coughs> when to like go into crowd work and shit? Because I know you're doing material on stage, yeah. but like, when do you know that you need to go into crowd work? If I feel like, if I feel like uh, it's not like there's two different avenues. Like if I'm doing my set and it's kind of like I said, it's going mediocre where I'm getting chuckles. I'm like, nah, I need to do something else. Yeah, like, yeah, this, yeah, shit not, this shit not working <laughs> out. Yeah, mm-hmm. and if it's if I'm doing really good, that's when I really start doing crowd work because like they'll start laughing, people start interacting, and I'll just fucking go and I'll just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. That's my favorite type of crowd work. But I hate motherfuckers that like they, their jokes don't land and they're like, well, what do you do? You know, like that shit's boring. <laughs> but like most of my crowd work, it kind of comes naturally. You know, sometimes. Sometimes I'll, it'll just be a setup to a question that I already have a joke for, but mm-hmm. their answer might determine if I go into crowd work, you know? Like mm-hmm. like, 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 if I ask a girl, like, where's your favorite place to eat? And they're like, oh, well, I don't know. And I'm like, that's the thing about bitches. They never know. <laughs> and fucking crowd laughs, you know? So it's like, yeah. you know, it just depends on what it is. Like, it's really on the crowd if they want me, like, if I go into crowd work or not. Like, the, how you respond to me is how I'll respond. Because there's also people that don't like crowd work. They're like, bro... Yeah. Like, I want I pay to see your jokes, your set, and you're just fucking out here talking to the people. I don't give a yeah, fuck about yeah. these people, you know? Mm-hmm. So I try not to be a crowd work comic, but if I'm fucking rolling and rocking, like, we're it's fucking funny, getting man. it, you know? You're rolling and rocking, bro. Yeah, Look yeah. It. But it feels natural, huh? Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Well, hey. It's been a fucking fun ass podcast, bro. Yeah, yeah, I think you crushed it, dog. Yeah. Yeah. It's get the funniest motherfucker we've ever had on. Yeah. I knew, I knew Shout you. Shout out to Richie, by the way. You heard that, Richie? Thank you, no, I knew you were gonna be good, bro. Because even like on your your podcast, like talking my shit, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Talking my shit. I was like, this motherfucker does it by himself. Just, yeah. just da 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 da. Like yeah. doesn't stop. I was like, nah, this motherfucker's gonna crush it on here, bro. I already knew. Yeah, I took it easy here too, because four of us. You know, I don't yeah, want, yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah. us to yeah. talk over each other. Sometimes that shit feels like not good to the nah. ear. Yeah, yeah. Fact. but but like I feel like we kept it healthy. You know, kept nah, it, you bro, know? you crushed it. Hell yeah, bro. Well, with that being said, uh, anything. Actually, any any shows you know that I need to get fucked because I know we got yeah, fucking plug. fans all over plug the damn place. Yeah. Well, so um, go ahead and plug that. For the West Coast people, literally last night I got home drunk as fuck from those fucking shows and <laughs> I confirmed San Diego. So I'll be headlining in San Diego April 26th. Okay. And I'm headlining in Houston February 10th. I mean, it's still far. But like February 10th, I'll be in Houston. I'm headlining two shows, 7 and 9 p.m. If you're in Houston, come out. It's going to be fun. And if you're in the Bay Area, San Francisco, I'll Let's be go. there. The Bay. Fe- February 18th, I'm headlining a show. There's almost sold out actually. So it's gonna be fucking lit. Fuck yeah. And then I'm be on the road with Renee doing a few different shows. Like uh we're doing Boston, New York, um, Vegas. I mean, I think there's still tickets available for all that. So follow me on Instagram, Ken Flores300. The link in my bio is my link tree. It's gonna have links to all the cities. And I mean, if you found me because of the podcast, man, uh hit me up. And I respond to I try to respond to everybody. You know, unless you're like, hey fat ass, you know, but <laughs> but like I try to respond Shout to everybody <laughs> and let them know. <laughs> They're not talking to you though. Nah, 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 nah. Who the fuck you talking they to? They confuse you with Johnny. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Die going on tour, bro. bro. Fuck it. Nah, how y'all, bro? Yeah. Hey, like you guys heard of it. You guys fucking live in any of those cities, go go out and see my boy. You, you, guys, guys, tickets. Yeah. you guys know he's funny him. as fuck. Yeah, fucking appreciate man. it. Right, with that being said, you got any shout outs to you, Johnny? I'll give a shout out to everybody that be supporting us on the on the daily right. weekly. I appreciate all that. Uh, all my friends that be be sharing it. all the people just be just be fucking with us every week. And uh, shout out to my girl and uh, my friends. Bro, ain't no shot. That's the drink you chose. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this, is got- my, this is my chaser. <laughs> Ice pink. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker is in your house. You, you, you bought this. You we went to the register, pull out money, and pay for this. <laughs> Those are for our girls, though, dog. Girl, you. Our bitches, our bitches. Our, bitches. <laughs> our sluts, our sluts. Yeah. You, our cup You slutting yeah. out bitches to smirn off ice? <laughs> I'll get you some holes. I got hey, I don't want to brag, bro. Hey, you want to stop drinking this bullshit? You want to start drinking this 1942? Come fuck with a fat motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. You know somebody or what? Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Tortas tapping. <laughs> Uh, shout out my family and friends. Everybody's family. been listening. Yeah. <laughs> you shout, got out, shout out all the fat tortas out there. Uh, yeah. mm, we have merch coming out, but we're waiting because you bitches are fat and we got uh, <laughs> we got to tailor to y'all. So we're we're we're, we're, <laughs> yeah, to we only have three shirts ready for y'all. So <laughs> <laughs> but we love y'all. Um, we didn't get to do the fan questions this week, but you know, hopefully next week we we'll get we can get it going. Thank you guys. Um, make sure to tune in to you know all his shit. Obviously, he's one funny motherfucker, and I'm gonna go ahead and pass this down to to Gazelle, who has a shout out to Let's go. The fans. Hell yeah! Well, with that being said, let's get into this motherfucking week. Shout out, shout out to Miguel Anke. Shout out to your girl Fave, Jeremy Jewel, Wolf Logic, Raw XO, and Dressy Siskabor, Rosa Seven, Abel, Ro Jonathan Rosales, Javier Malgar, Jesse, Jorge Gomez, Christian Basolón, Tweet, A Toast to Life, Jesus, 846, Junior C, Big Boat, Carla Calindo. Nessa Rare, Javier Alcala, David the Don, Roddy J, Rebecca Guayo, your boy Angel, Michi Buj, Jose, Avina, Melissa Garcia, Kevin Castro, Diana Luna, Art, Sam Miguel, Ash, XA, Ashley, Zeth994, <laughs> Michael Granados, bro. There's way more, bro. Hey, hey, we're gonna stop doing this shit at some point. Hey, back, bro. Nah, hey, bro, bro. <laughs> we're gonna keep doing this so it's not funny. He's like, I'm trying to go in. What the fuck? <laughs> I thought you guys were freestyling again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I lost my spot. I'm gonna start over. Because if we're to rap too. Hey, do I go? He's trying to jump in. Shout out to Mikia Rosa Melana. Shout out to you. I'm about to go in. Yeah. Hey, let me get a bump. I'll get to this shit real quick. <laughs> Where the fuck was I at? Hey, if I mix your name, fuck you. I don't give a fuck no more. Shout out to XO, Ashley, Lizette994, Michael Granados, Rogelio Rojas, Chris Lopez, Karina Guzman, Guerra 2K, Angela Soto. Where uh, where you at, Junior? <laughs> you got it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> and the motherfucking YouTube comments. That's Amber, Nicole, Liz, R, Jose Garcia, James Carrera, Marty, Solana, Maripa, Dulce, Bembea, Nessa Garcia, Ashley, Luna, Caroline, Portillo, Sofia, uh, Rosales, Karina, Zuniga, Javi, Dalia, Garcia, Karen Muñiz, Calirza, Cortinas, Myra Morales, Jose, Coronado, Luis Castillo, Saray, Renteria, Sustaita, Ben Dover. Shout out to you, motherfucker. Shout out to you. <laughs> Emily. Shout out to you. I'm always fucking with you every week. Yeah. Yeah. Every week. Yeah. Emily Rose. Motherfuckers change their name so they yeah. can get this for every week, bro. <laughs> Emily Shout Rose, out Alberto Pussy Soto. <laughs> this motherfucker's name is 93706. Shout out to you. Shout Shout out to Sanchez, box. Maribella, Oscar Padilla, Janice Rios, Novena, Andrew R. Manuel Benavides, Ali Santana, Marco Lopez, Dalma. Dalma Amaro, Karina Garcia, Christopher Garcia, Muzik, Isaac Perez, Andrea Mares, your boy Angel, Danny Dubois, Miguel Andero, Zora Gallo, Johnny Trevino, Eddie Jessica, Chris L11, Claudio Mejia, Marco Mandrogon, Andrew Franco, Luis Gamez, Skip Abit 123, Jesus Olvera, Lick Javon, Alma Lola, Yuri Valdez Mejia, Maria Aleman D. Man, Manuel Thomas, Jeremy Ronald, Brendan Cor, <laughs> Sylvia, Crystal R, Pokex Church, 602, Flee, Karina Ramirez, Luis Gomez, Luis Zagalen, <laughs> last but not least, Isaac Perez. Yeah. Follow, you guys like hey, that. follow of the week is coming next week. We promise, bro. <laughs> we, We're picking three motherfuckers. Uh, <laughs> Who coming in? We did this. We did this back when we only had fucking like 15 followers, and now it's just getting out of hand. So, so what, what, what are you? What are, oh, oh. Now they, they just, get. Hey, now they get mad when we don't do it though. Yeah, yeah. bro. They, they get that. mad as fuck. What? What? what uh, how do they know what the fuck you're saying? <laughs> what? What? Bro. They who gives a fuck? Like, you didn't fucking say. Hey, that got the shout out. Shout out to you, motherfuckers. Though y'all motherfuckers be supporting us heavy. Shout out to all y'all. Nah, hell man, you're not finna cut me off. That just sound like when you buy a medicine that you might <laughs> receive, and your family member might die. Uh, <laughs> yeah, damn, yeah, how, yeah. how do people get shot? How do you sign up? For yeah, you heard them though. Yeah. I know, but how do you how do you sign up? Motherfuckers just want to comment, bro. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. comment yeah, yeah. on YouTube or they share. Or they share, or they share the clips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. IG stories. We just be shouting all of them out because we support. We no, nah, that's fucking fire. That's I'm, I'm, when motherfuckers support around, us, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good way to get engagement, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna copy y'all. Yeah, get your numbers up, bro. Now. Yeah. <laughs> you, you put a beat bro. behind it. You start, rapping, you start rapping the names. Yeah. I do it better though. Yeah, yeah it's five hundred for being here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, I don't fucking personal shout out to my fucking family. Everybody be supporting in the month and the obviously the love of my life. Who I be fucking dumping loads and shout out to you, baby. <laughs> oh. And with that, happy passing to the oh. happy passing to the homie Lala. What's yeah, up, baby? Uh, shout out to fucking Cam for being here, bro. Hell yeah, my appreciate boy. You, appreciate you, you, you bro. You told us a long time ago. Oh man, here you go. Uh, you told us a long time ago. Like I'm gonna pull up for sure whenever I'm out that way. And that was yeah, like a long time. Real, yeah, yeah. We didn't believe it. You from all the way out there in Chicago. Yeah, yeah bro. I almost casting for Jimmy O'Meal. Yeah, there's, there's motherfuckers that live 20 minutes away from here that don't fucking. They'd be like, oh yeah, I'll pull up one day. Don't pull up. <laughs> 
And this motherfucker came all the way from Chicago, man of his word. Yeah. He, he said it since the beginning. Stand up, dude, for real. Up, and we yeah, fucking man. appreciate it. Appreciate uh, and his fucking homies back there. Like, yeah, his whole know, squad, his whole team. His whole shit. Yeah. He got 16 motherfuckers back here. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're rolling deep. Hella bitches, yeah. too. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Full of homies. <laughs> and, they're, <laughs> and they're all strapped up. Full of homies. But yeah, uh, shout out to everyone who listens to us. Shout out to everybody. Hopefully, you guys share these clips and share all the fucking everything, bro. And go follow my boy, bro. I'll give a shout out. Can I give a shout out? Yeah, All right. Shout out to these young motherfuckers. I know what it's Man, but fuck you. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to these motherfuckers, man, for like, you know, building their own lane, creating, you know, like realizing what, what, what the people like. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people try to go viral, but they're not chopping up the clicks correctly. They're not putting out the right type of content. I see you guys, you guys are doing it the right way. You guys are going viral consistently. You guys are growing like crazy. And I mean, you guys are still keeping the same energy. And I mean, any young motherfucking Latino comic, like motherfuckers like us, like I feel like we're the, we're the new wave, you know? Yeah, yeah. And you guys are the new wave of content creators. I mean, I can't wait to see where this podcast grows. It's only gonna go up from here. And I feel like you guys are real genuine dudes, real funny motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. And that's why, yeah, that's why I came here. So, I mean, I, yeah. uh, I appreciate you guys having me in your house, you know? And uh, I mean, I know we, can't, we fucked around back and forth and shit, but at the end of the day, bro, I love you guys. Oh, thank, you for, thank you for, thank you for reaching man. out to yeah. me. You know, like I said, when, when the motherfucker was barely starting to come up and shit. And like I said, that's why I, I'm gonna give, I told you I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna fucking pull up. You feel me? So yeah, yeah, bro. Appreciate yeah, yeah. keep you, doing what y'all doing, man. Keep listening, and keep supporting them, man. These kids are gonna be fucking big, bro. Fuck yeah, yeah. Nice, man. Johnny's already big, bro. <laughs> 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 and plug all your stuff, though. All your fuck, all, plug all your yeah, 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 that's done. Your podcast and all that? All yeah, right, yeah, all done, all done, yeah. All right, bro. All right, well, yeah. We're out, we're out. Peace, peace. Let's do some fucking bumps. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. All right, so now we're going to do the <laughs> fucking... <laughs>